check this place out. What? Welcome to the world of Boxport Luxury. Whoa, this is insane. Guys, look at this. We built some of the world's biggest and best box forts. And today we're gonna be surviving in 10 different billionaire box forts. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the most extravagant box forts in history. Every billionaire box fort needs its own billionaire garage. Oh, oh, oh. Someone's at the door with such an ominous knock. It must be important. Oh, hello there. Name's Rich Richardson. Richest man in the world. Even richer than Bill Gates. Ah, don't mind if I do. Didn't, I didn't invite you in, but okay. What, what, what do you, what do you, what do you do? As you can see, I am extremely rich based on the size of my cane. It is extremely long and therefore I am extremely rich. That's how you can tell. Yeah, that, that is a really big cane. Um, okay, I guess you are rich. Anyway, I've been getting into the game a box for real estate. Have you heard of it? For real estate? I mean, we make boxes all the time. We didn't know you could sell them. What, what do you mean? There's a market for that? Prices are soaring right now. The market is a beautiful time to get in. And I think you might be just the people I'm looking for to sell. A brand new box for it made out of premium cardboard just went on the market this week for 4.5 million tape rolls. 4.5 million tape rolls? That's ridiculous. But also intriguing. Oh, but these are going like crazy. The market is just soaring right now and Rich Richardson is the number one supplier in box board houses. I've sold over 50,000 houses in this month alone. Isn't there like a lot of legal documents or something I have to sign? Don't I have to sit down with like a, like a person and then sign something and then it takes like many days? Nope, it's actually quite simple. To buy a house, all you need is a pen and paper. Sign here and you will be the proud owner of a 4.5 million tape roll box for it. With a compound interest of 13%, that'll come to $18.7 million for the next 20 years paid to me. And sign here. Okay, sign here. All right, deal's done. You are the proud new owner of a 4.5 million tape roll box for it. Of course, with an upfront fee of 1.2 million tape rolls. You, my friend, are now the proud owner of a billionaire box for it. Good we did the deal. All right, sweet, well, where is it? Well, it's in your basement. I actually snuck in last night and built it myself, and if wait, you weren't gonna what, buy wait. it, I was gonna stay here until you, you agreed to buy it. So now that you did buy it, I can leave. Thank you very much, and remember the name, Rich Richardson. Richer than Bill Gates, don't forget that. Where, where are you going? No, no, wait, where are you going? I have, I have so many questions, where are you going? Hey, yo, what's going on, everyone? It's Papa Jake, and we are back with a brand new video, and today, guys, we have purchased the world's most expensive, the world's biggest, the world's largest, the world's grandest, Logan, I'm running out of words, billionaire box sport that has ever, ever been created. In fact, this might be the biggest creation known to man. It might be a Guinness World of Record, Logan. I want my Guinness World of Record to go right there. Beside Papa Jake, Box Fort God, King of Building. Y you didn't exactly build this place, bought we it. bought it. It's the same thing, Logan. If I buy a car, it means I built it. Now, guys, you're probably wondering, Jake, what is inside this massive masterpiece? Well, in fact, it's probably got more in it than your average mansion. We are going to be doing a tour of the entire billionaire fort with all of the... Logan? That's a secret window. No one's supposed to know about that window, Logan. This stays shut. This is a secret exit. Erase it from your memory. All right, we are gonna be showing you inside the Billionaire Fort because we have decked this thing out with crazy stuff. Not to mention, we tried to make it as luxurious as possible. What should we do first, Jake? Well, Logan, we should go inside and show off the fort because everyone's wondering what's it look like inside. But before we do that, guys, I do want to let you guys know that there is actually a secret behind this. We are not keeping this fort. Oh, no, no. What? That's no. Yeah, Logan, no, we're giving it away. We are going to be giving it away to one of you guys. Whoever has the top most liked comment in the comment section down below will be pinned at the top of this video. You can scroll down and see if there's a current owner and whoever is the most liked comment will officially be the title owner oh. of this fort. So it could even be you or you or you. It might even be you. I'm talking to you, Matthew or Jeremy. Well, let's get inside the fort and start showing this off. It's MTV Cribs with Papa J. Check it out. We are officially in the very first section of the ultimate billionaire box fort. This is Le kitchen, as I call it. Jake, what do you want to do first? Well, Logan, we're, we're starting in the kitchen. First, we need to show off the fort, dude. Show them everything that this thing has to offer, and then we can try all of the amazing amenities. I mean, we got gaming, we got a movie. I'm okay, wait, wait, I can't get ahead of myself. All right, so first off, the kitchen. We got food and snacks. You got food and snacks. We got eating area. We got Gatorade. 
To be honest, Jake, I don't know why there's a gym in the kitchen. It's kind of weird if you ask me. This is how billionaires drink Gatorade. Out of a cereal bowl? I am eating Gatorade, Logan. It's the billionaire way to do it, okay? And yes, there is a gym in the kitchen because after you eat, this musketeer's bar, you gotta burn it off on the gym. Before we move on to the next room though, I have a challenge for you. There is something secret in this room. Try and guess what it is or what it could be, and we will come back in here in just a minute. But first, we gotta move into the next room. Is the gaming room. Jake, I think this is actually the sports room. Okay, fine, we can call it the sports room whenever you want, but while you're in your billionaire mansion, you might get a little bit bored because it's so big. Because you're just walking around in circles. So you come on into this room. There are millions of games here. There is actually a lot of different games here. We've got horseshoes. We have those balls. What are those balls, Logan? I have no idea what that is. We've got these magical balls. Oh, for that target. And if you throw the ball at the target like Papa Jake, you get 200. Oh, can I still dab? Nope. I don't know if dabbing's still a thing. Jake, whatever, of course you can still whatever dab. it is now. I we got 60. Over here, we've got baseball. Well, because we couldn't fit a full baseball field in here. We got this mini baseball, which I don't really know how it works. We will play miniature baseball. Now, once you're done in the recreational room, you might want to head in and chill out a little bit. And that's where the movie theater room comes in. Check this out. In every billionaire box for it, you need a home movie theater. This is the movie theater room. We've got our projector set up with our movie screen here. We even got a secondary snack section with all of our snacks, which I gotta say, Logan, you've gone uh, a little unhealthy with the snacks here. Could we not have gotten some carrots or celery? Okay, well, we got more snacks over here. We've got the movie theater projector over there. You can choose any movie you want. You can even play YouTube videos. But guys, we're not even half done showing off this fort. I mean, we haven't even started the 24 hour challenge in it. It might take us 24 hours to just show this whole place off. So we gotta keep moving, Logan. We gotta keep going that way. Guys, what movie should we watch? Leave it down below in the comments. All right, Jake, let's check out the next room. Back into the gaming room. We actually have way too many games in here. I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, we need like scooters to drive around. It's too big to get around on our feet. Horseshoe. Horseshoe. You don't have what it takes to be a horseshoe. You gotta use the horse, Logan. Use the horse within you. Nah. All right, and we're moving on. Coming back inside the kitchen. No one knows what the secret thing is in here yet. You guys, I bet no one guessed it. No one guessed it, we're not gonna show you yet. Either this or this is the secret. So I'm not showing it yet because we got a full other fort to show off. All right, open up the door here and we head into the living quarters. Welcome to the first sleeping area. So this is the first room on the first story because this is a two story box fort. Now we got a beautiful bed here with the sleeping bag and pillows. You know, lots of room, very spacious. We also have a mortar. Um, a mortar? A mortar, Logan, to defend this against raccoons. Because you never know when the raccoons are coming, Logan. You ever look outside at night and see them screaming across the street? They're scheming, Logan. They're thinking, how am I gonna get in that house and attack you? If raccoons were to invade the house, or zombies, or really anything else, Logan would have to jump out of bed and quickly grab his mortar cannon. I, I, I would be doing this? You would be doing this, Logan, while I'm fast asleep, because I'm don't wake me up ever. I'm grumpy when I wake up. You load the mortars like so, and you arm them. Once the mortars are armed, they are highly dangerous, Logan. Now what you want to do is take the mortar like this, slowly put it like that. Drop it down! You can't just drop it! Fire and fire! Three, two, one! Woo! So guys, of course, every billionaire fort is not complete without a working elevator, which is why I have installed this elevator. Wait for me, Jake. It does. It can't take both of us, Logan. It's not that strong of an elevator. Yeah, it can. That's like giving your grandma a fully filled fridge and telling her to carry it 50 feet. She no. just can't do that. My grandma can do it. Oh, oh. All right, elevator, let's go up. Okay, Jake was actually right. The elevator didn't work with me on it. You guys saw already to get to this room, we had to go through one, two, three, four. Four rooms and an elevator. All right, we're raising up, guys. Here we go. It's not the, fa the fastest elevator in the world, but that's okay. And once we get up to my room here, you can see there's a nice little handle here. And we just open it up like so. Now guys, we are actually on the second story here. In fact, I'm not exactly sure how the math works out, but this might be the third story. It's kind of complicated, so it's kind of freaky, but we are on the second story, and this is my secret bedroom. You come in here, we've got a little light on the side of the wall here we can turn on. We can pull up the hatch. 
so no one can get in. Keep it very safe and secure. Now, it's not the most spacious area, I know, but it is on the second story, which I think is really cool, and it's really cozy. I can confirm, because we can see into the, uh, the underworkings here, that this is, in fact, the third story. One, two, three. So, uh, we are kind of high up right now. In fact, this box foot is so cool because of all the walls and stuff. I don't even feel like I'm on the third story, but if you look out here, you can actually see the entire basement. And in our defense room, of course, we've got our Nerf blaster to take out any raccoons. We also have a Logan's bow and arrow. Logan, why is your bow and arrow in here? Oh, Logan's coming up. Excuse me? Your bow and arrow, you, you brought a bow and arrow in here, man. I devised a little challenge for us, Jake. Three shots at the balloons over there, and whoever hits the most balloons gets this upper floor bed. Okay, all right, I like that. I mean, you are kind of the bow and arrow guy, but I think I could do this. It's a little far away, but I mean, realistically, the balloons are about the size of a raccoon, so. In three, two, one, fire! Okay, that was a little too weak, all right, that's fine, but I got two more here. Oh, come on! That's so close! Yeah, nice try, Jake. Wait, but if you don't hit any, it's whoever got the closest. Last shot, here we go. I'm gonna wind this one up real good. Going for that middle green one. I want that room. Oh, I hit it, though! It's moving, it's jiggling around! I'm so sorry, Jake. That's just not gonna count. Technically, if you don't get an arrow that touches a balloon, I get the top room. Ready? All right, Logan, let's see what you got. Three, Three shots. Two, one. Ooh, that was close, but you didn't touch a balloon. Oh, oh, it's so close. If you think Logan can hit a balloon right now, I need you to like the video, and I need you to comment hashtag balloon. And with enough likes and enough comments, hey, this next shot will hit him. I did it. You did it, dude. Woo! All the likes and the hashtags worked. You guys were able to do it. We hit a balloon. I mean, there were six Jake, set up. We only hit one. I need to get off here. It's wobbling Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. I need to Believe get Believe it out. or not, guys, we actually still haven't shown off this entire fort. So we, we got more to show off. So why don't we go down through the elevator and we'll show you guys the rest of the fort. But so far, the defense systems are looking good. We got an arrow. We got a Nerf gun. And we got mortars. All right, guys, going down the elevator back into the main room. Logan is still all the way up there. See ya, Logan. Now we head back into the kitchen, guys, because there is still three more secret rooms we have not shown off yet. So why don't we uh, head in here? I'll wait for Logan to get down the elevator. One of them is gonna surprise you. Okay, guys, now that we've shown off the living quarters, we are gonna show off another part of this kitchen. It's still not the super secret surprise, but it is part of our billionaire fort because all billionaire houses need to have one thing, Logan. Do you know what that is? A movie theater? Well, no, we already have a movie theater, Logan. You need a steam room. And that's why we have a fully working world's Wait, first- this is the secret? No, no, that's not the secret. There's still a secret. But this is a fully working world's first box fort steam room. Now, I got the steam going. It's starting to get, it's starting to get warm in there. We're getting the steam flowing in here. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Arguably, it's just gonna melt because you're probably not supposed to put steam in cardboard. But while the steam room heats up, I was thinking we could go back to the sports room and, and have a little contest. Then once we're all done and tired in there, we can come back here for a nice steam in the world's first box fort steam room. All right, guys, welcome back into the activity room. The first game we are gonna play is the ball toss. We've got these Velcro balls here, and we have to try and see who can get closest to the bullseye. Well, you can't shoot from there, Logan. You can shoot from here, all right? Each of us are going to get three attempts to get as close to the bullseye as possible. Whoever does the best wins this challenge. Loser has to wear this for the rest of the night. How about loser has to go in the steam room? Because I, I don't trust the steam room at all. You're on, Jake. All right, guys. Loser of all three challenges here will have to go in the steam room. Isn't the steam room supposed to be a luxury? It is. Until it's proven that it works. Until then, it might just be a horrible, horrible place you don't want to go. First ball, bullseye, let's go! Second ball, bullseye, let's go! Okay. 150 and 10 points. Okay. Three, two, one, bullseye! Oh, that's actually pretty okay. good. That's 300, 310 points, Jake. All right, Logan, you're up. Let's see if you can beat 310. I'm a professional ball thrower. Okay, oh, oh. So far, that's 270 points, Jake. Well, you, you only need like, just anything to beat me. This isn't good, guys. Hopefully he messes up completely and misses the entire board! 70 plus 80, what is that, Logan? Five, four, three, two, one. Logan can't do that. 
70 plus 80 is 350. All right, congrats, Logan. Now, guys, the next game here we have is Ring Toss. Now, it's pretty simple. You got to throw these and get it around here. Whoever gets the most around here wins the challenge. Channel the inner horse again. Come on, Buttercup. What? Oh, come on. It came back. Does that mean I can throw it again? Okay, last one. Here we go. Still didn't All even right, get a Logan, point. I yet. got one, so it means if you get two, you win. Miss number one. Miss number two. Miss number three. Oh no! Go. This game is rigged. All right. Well, we're moving on to the next game in the gaming room. All right, guys. Baseball it is. So it's pretty simple. Basically, you've got your little bat here. Logan's got his pitching thing here, and he shoots the ball. So and we all know how to play baseball. Okay, fine. Well, let's uh, let's see how many home runs we can get. Strike one. Strike two. Strike three. Uh, honestly, I, I I don't really know how this works. We we got it from the dollar store. I I do know how to play baseball, but I don't really understand the flicking and the, this thing. Okay, Jake, it's, it's okay. You don't need to say it's anymore. Not a Eh. Home run! All right, well, the next game is a classic. Oh. One that me and Logan have been going at for some time. Oh, Jake wants to play Beyblade. That's right, Logan. Best out of three Beyblade battle right here, right now. It's made one really quickly. I got a little orange up top, a good heavy middle base. Three, three two, two, one. one. Let it rip. Oh, the battle's oh. on. Come on. Oh, let's go. Let's go, go. Come on, blue. Ah. Got this. Over oh, the attack, the final kill, the strike, the bang, no, no, blue, blue. Oh, and it's a win for Papa Jake. But it is best two out of three, so Logan has a chance of redemption. Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, the battle's on. Blue's coming in hot, Logan's going for the spin around. Oh, we're going. Oh, my guess is chilling in the middle, though. He's keeping his stance. Oh, no, oh, no. No, Blue, stay strong. Oh, stay strong. Come on. Come on. Stay strong. Punch him. Punch him in the corner. No! Yes. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Oh, the battle is on. Oh, Blue's going go. fast. Blue's going in the middle again. Gold's running around like a chicken. You got you to gotta keep the momentum going, Blue. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on, no. Yes. Stay strong, Blue. Hit him. Stay strong. Oh. Stay strong. Oh. And Papa Jake. Win. You failed me. Oh, guys, the steam room is going. Whoa, dude! Oh, that's steamy. It was working. It's a box for steam room. Okay. Oh, that is thick cardboard. We had a light up here. The light seems to have, uh, well, maybe melted. The uh, the thickness of the steam in here is kind of good, but it feels like the walls are absorbing a lot of it, and it's uh, it's kind of hard to breathe because it's nice steam mixing with like cardboard. It, it smells like wet cardboard in here. It's actually getting really hot in here. I'm starting to get like steam or sweat on my face. If it wasn't for the smell, that's that's the only thing that's a little concerning is how it smells. But other than that, it's not too bad. It's pretty luxurious for a billionaire box fort. Oh, all right, woo! That was a good steam. I actually got a little sweat going. All right, well, I mean, as long as the carpet doesn't melt, it's a pretty sweet steam room, so we'll let that keep going throughout the night. I said we got another secret. In fact, we still have two rooms we have not shown off yet in this billionaire fort. And guys, I think it's time. After I'm done eating these chips, I will tell you guys where the secret room is. Secret room, in fact, is behind the snack counter. By pushing the snack counter uh, to the right, it reveals an extra room to the box for it. Check this out. The oh, gaming room. What? Oh, it's my favorite room. Oh, the gaming station. We got a super comfy gaming station. We got an Xbox with Fortnite. We got a PC with a bunch of different video games. It's a little small, but I think it's really cozy. As I'm closing up the secret hatch here, so technically, Logan, if anyone were to find a way into this box for it, they would not know we're in here. Logan, I think it's time that we play a little bit of Minecraft. I say we rebuild this entire box for it in Minecraft. Jake, I'm, I'm playing Forza. I'm Logan's, Logan's playing for it. All right, you know, that's fine. That's cool. You can play with your cars. I'm gonna play with my cows. Like, like Bessie over here. All right, guys, now that we are finished up in the gaming room, it is time to head on out because you gotta get off the I'm Xbox coming. Bar. All right, come on, let's go. Movie theater room, the movie's starting. First one there against the best seat. 
All right, guys, we got our projector set up and the wall. We are in here. We've got our snacks all in snacks. We got some peach rings. Fuzzy peach. Logan's chips. got fuzzy. We also got some chips over there. So I think we're going to uh, lay back, uh, pick a movie to watch, and just kind of hang out for a little bit in our box for movie theater. Looks like Jake's going to sleep. Jake, wake up. Is it morning? Oh, oh, Jake, it is not morning time. Breakfast time! Guys, I think it's time to head to bed. We got our billionaire rooms to sleep in. I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty tired. It's been a long day having fun in the billionaire fort. In my bunk here. Uh, it is the top bunk. The only issue would be if I roll over in the middle of the night. Then I'm gonna fall down like two stories. So hopefully that doesn't happen. That's the only scary thing about this bunk. But other than that, it's really cozy. I got a wall here. I got a nightlight. I'm gonna get to bed, guys, and I'll update you in the morning when I wake up. Night, guys. Hold on, guys. It's another lit day in a box for. Oh, yeah. Just woke up. I have no idea what time it is. Not too bad. It's pretty comfy, pretty warm. I just kept thinking, you know, at least I'm not outside surviving in the forest, so that's nice. I have my comfy little blanket -er here. Oh, guys. Oh, my God. I almost died. Logan, wake up. It's wake up time. It's morning. Ooh, it might be really early. It's time for breakfast. Breakfast in the billionaire fort. We have Cheetos. Lots of Cheetos. The healthiest part of your day is starting your day with a fresh batch of Cheetos. You can't start your day with Cheerios. It is time to head outside and show you guys the final room as well as play the final mini game. And of course, don't forget guys, if you are watching this, be sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't already, remember to leave a comment down below because if you have the top comment, you will officially own this billionaire mansion. What time is it, Jake? The clock don't work. It's always 10 o'clock in box four land. I'm not eating You gotta Cheerios. be healthy, Logan. You gotta eat your very healthy meal. It's the most the unhealthy thing I've seen all day. Okay guys, we are going to the last room inside this billionaire fort. The final room in our billionaire box fort. Check out this map. Jake, it's so big. <laughs> it's I haven't so been big. outside in so long. <laughs> it is huge, dude. No wonder it didn't feel like we were in a box fort. We were in a mansion all night. And we have the world's first, first ever on Papa Jake as well, box fort. Garage. Yeah, check that out, dude. We There's got car for all me the and cars. You. Logan, coming out of the garage. Oh, it's really tight in here. Oh, Every, ah! <laughs> Every billionaire box fort needs its own billionaire garage. Oh! Jake! We've got our very own tennis court, just like any billionaire would have, except instead of a tennis ball, we're using this. This is some really hot real estate, guys. Leave a comment down below, and whoever gets the most likes, we will pin it. And you will be the owner of this box fort mansion estate. We have the world's biggest billionaire box for it and the biggest one we have ever created. And one of you guys is gonna be the owner. So currently right now, if you scroll down below, one of you might be the owner. Go check if there's an Logan, what are you doing? Logan! We can't be doing that, we don't own it anymore. Logan, Logan, don't shoot that. Ladies and gentlemen of this company, I have brought you here today to this investors meeting as the CEO, Papa Jake, to discuss one thing and one thing only. Flaming Hot Cheetos? No, that is that is not what we are going to be discussing. We are discussing box forts. Also, you told me to come here for lunch. I didn't know this was a meeting. You see, our company over the many years has pushed the limits of box fort technology far into the skies. Some people call me the Bill Gates of box forts. Others have referred to me as Elon Musk of cardboard. And I've called you here because you have all invested millions of tape rolls into this company for us to produce technology that will get us to the stars. Now, when we started out as a small company, we built the world's first box fort. Floating box forts. That was us. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I am about- Jake, hold up. It's just me. What do you mean, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, Logan, I realize it's just you and me, okay? But I'm the CEO of the company. I gotta dress like a super cool CEO, all right? So I got the cane, the hat, the everything. Just, just let me finish. Bye. I did 
did not know the cane had that. I was not intending on using that today. Oh. <clears throat> Box sports on water was us. Box sports in space was us. Box sport hot tub was us. Box sport car was us. I am about to introduce to you the next generation of box sports. The next era of this company that will take us farther than no man has ever gone before. Ladies and gentlemen, and Logan included, I present to you the world's first box sport elevator. <gasps> that's all we could come up I could have done that. There was going to be some explosions and, and sound, but that's okay, all right? This is us on a box sport. There's clouds, there's rain. We're sad. But with the technology I have invented, I looked gravity in the eyes. I said no more. I said we are gonna go up above the clouds to where the sun is. And that's me and that's Logan. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's first production of the Box Ford Elevator starts today. This is where you this is where you clap, Logan. Thank you, thank you. Ayo, what's going on everyone? It's Papa Jake and we are back with a brand new video and today guys we are pushing the... the Logan, what are you doing? Why, why are you walking around in a VR headset? Logan, this isn't VR time. Look, look, it's everyone here. It's the viewers. Oh, oh what's up guys? They're... I was just in VR land. Okay, don't, don't go back in VR land, Logan, because what we are about to build today is much cooler than what is inside VR. Guys, today we are going to be building the world's first working box fort elevator but not just that we're also going to be incorporating it into a billionaire box fort now you're probably thinking papa jake you're talking crazy you're going mad you're going insane there's no such thing as elevators yeah, inside I, box forts. i don't really understand the concept of this elevator jake oh yeah well, then what's this what's this you, you just did a squat okay that might have been a squat but logan you can't explain this that's right we live in up in the future here in Papa Jake's box board. We, well actually we discovered these tables and we found out that they move up and down with the click of a button. So what better use for them than to make our very first box board elevator. Now I had some cool ideas on how we could do this. Logan thought it would be awesome to do like a billionaire fort using them, which I agree. But the cool thing is guys, how high can you go? I don't know, I'm kind of scared send, of breaking send, this. Let's send him to the roof, we're sending to the moon. Oh, oh this <laughs> is pretty high. Logan, you're going very high. Oh. oh! He just keeps going! Jeez. I, can walk, I can walk under you! Oh, this is, I, I, this is not where I want to be right now. I do not want to be under here when this thing falls. So this is the second story of the yeah. floor. So I have the idea that we use one of these to actually be an elevator that goes up, and then this one over here would already be set to the second story. But then the cool thing is, guys, you take the elevator down, into a secret underground bunker, maybe like a secret underground gaming room. Super fired up for this build, guys. We've never done anything like this. This is gonna be awesome. And of course, guys, if you do happen to be brand new to the channel and you are not already part of the greatest channel on YouTube, do not forget to join the squad. All you guys gotta do is super easy. Number one, hit that subscribe button. Number two, hit that bell button. And number three, most important, down in the comments. Use your inside voice because you don't want to wake up your family. Squad! And you guys will be part of the squad and we'll be picking one amazing squad member to give a shout out to at the end of this video. And of course, you'll always be notified of our brand new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. We got awesome new content coming out for you guys. That's true. But Logan, if we are going to be making the world's first working box for an elevator, we need to get our cardboard. <sighs> Hold on, we got the cardboard. Oh, careful there on the elevators. All right, now all we need is some tape, and we can start building this thing. Well, Jake has been working on the elevators. I have been working on this amazing gaming setup. This place is starting to look like a real billionaire box for it. We got VR goggles. We got our Xbox. We got a little punching bag. You know, if you want to get a little workout in. All around super cozy place that will connect into this elevator shaft, which is connected to this elevator. And guys, check this out. And just like that, we have our two elevators connected. Let's go check it out. Here's the front entrance of our billionaire box for it. Yo guys, check it out. This is the main entrance to the billionaire box for it. Now, as you guys can see, this is currently the kitchen. Logan, look what I did here. I got us some nice bowls, some cutlery. Logan, what is this? Oh, 
What, what do you mean, Jake? It's a spoon. The spoon is not clean enough to be in the billionaire box for it. Well, we have everything we need minus one spoon. But we do have this little fancy light here in the middle. We also got another section over here where we got some of our food as well as water. I stored some food in here so in case we get hungry. During the night, you know, we could come all the way back in here. Uh, grab wait, Jake, what do you mean during the night? Well, we're saying 24 hours, Logan. This is a 24-hour billionaire box for it. Jake, you never said this was a 24-hour challenge. In every billionaire box for it's a 24-hour challenge because they're the comfiest places to sleep. All right, I guess we're doing a 24-hour challenge. Now, what we haven't done yet, guys, is we have not actually used the elevators to get to the other section of the fort. So that is completely sealed off now, which means not only is it super top secret, but the only way to get to it is through the elevators, which means it's also super secure. If you're done picking your food, if you're done enjoying your time in the luxurious entranceway to our box fort, you know, take a look out the window, enjoy some of the, the, the water. Then if you go over here to your elevator, you simply slide the elevator door to the side. You come on in, we got our lights inside here. And of course, like in every elevator, we got an emergency phone in case we need to go you know, call them, call them emergency. Hello? Yep, this. Logan, this phone isn't plugged in. This is not an emergency phone. Well, for sure, we have a phone, so in case, you know, you come in here, it looks like it is a working elevator. But, of course, the main part of the elevator that actually is the most important part, it going up and down does work. So, as you guys can see, we got a nice view of the outside of the billionaire box for it, but I want to go to the awesome secret gaming room. So what we got to do, close the door, say goodbye to Logan, and now I'm going to press our button so we go up to the second floor. Oh, we're moving. Guys, it's kind of hard to see us moving, but we are going up. This is so sweet. All right, we're getting to the second floor. I actually can't tell how high we are. It's, it's really weird. Like when it's moving, you can't even feel like you're moving up until you look out and then you're like, oh, we're a lot higher. All right, looks like the elevator has arrived at the second story. Oh, here we go. We simply slide the elevator door, which accesses Logan's elevator. So let's uh, walk across here. It's a little shaky. It's a little scary, but so far so good. Okay, let's get in Logan's elevator. Logan, the elevator's perfectly safe. And we'll send Logan's elevator back down so he can get inside and come up here. And there it goes, guys. Logan's elevator is going down. How cool is that? but you don't want to get stuck in between the two elevators. And then we can see outside. All right, Logan, I'm sending the elevator down to you. Come on in. Oh. What's up, dude? Welcome to the top floor. Dude, this is crazy. Right? It's like a three-story box floor. We're on the third story. It's, it's a little, little shaky, but you know, that's okay. And now I get to go down the elevator into the secret underground gaming room, which is probably our most secure and most top secret gaming room we have ever made. Well, I guess I'll see you in a little bit, Logan, as I go down to the gaming room. All right, see ya, Jake. Going down. Bye, guys. Bye, Jake. We are pretty much as tall as a three-story box fort with the luxury of not having to move up or down. We just press a button and the box for it literally takes us up or down a story. And the elevator is coming back up. It's time for me to head down to the gaming room. A little bit rickety, but all right, into the other elevator. All right, and taking us downstairs to the gaming room. Whoa. We got everything we need down here for our 24 hour challenge. We got our Xbox. We even got a lightsaber. All right, all right. Jake, I, I don't think we need a lightsaber for this. You can always go for some boxing. It's also extremely top secret and secure. The only way down here is inside a box fort, up an elevator, into another elevator, and down into the basement. What box fort or what build do you think is your coolest you've seen on this channel? Guys, if you think this base is super awesome, let's get 20,000 likes for more of these insane crazy billionaire box forts. And for Mr. Sharky, because Mr. Sharky came down. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm Mr. Sharky. The lightsaber's too loud, Jake. I'm trying to turn it off. The box. I think we need to get ourselves some dinner so we can enjoy our 24 hours in here. And if this is billionaire box fort, that means we don't need to eat MREs. No dried eggs for Jake today. 
Okay, but this is a billionaire challenge, which means we get the highest quality of foods, okay? We need to go big. We need to go grand. I'm talking bigger than the finest restaurants money can buy. I say we get McDonald's. Jake, I can't really focus with these lights changing all the time, but okay, McDonald's sounds good. All right, guys, we are heading up. Along to the third story so that we can go ahead and get ourselves some dinner. Also, guys, let us know if you love these elevators, should we use them more often in forts? I mean, they are a little slow, but it's pretty cool to be able to go up to the second story without actually having to use stairs or jump up ourselves. But all right, we're in the second story here. Logan, I got us our dinner. Check it out. Ooh. Delivered fresh to the box fort. And now we can eat it in the safety of our secret underground bunker. All right, guys, let's dig into our dinner. I am absolutely starved after a long night of building. We got our dinner, we got our fort, so it's time in billionaire fashion to enjoy something that only billionaires enjoy. McDonald's hamburger. Jake, you're eating your burger upside down. Does it make a bug? Jake, just eat the burger like you're supposed to eat the burger. Like this, Logan? Never eating burgers with you again. All right, guys, I don't know what Jake was doing, but it's time to eat my burger like a burger is properly supposed to be eaten. We just finished up our dinner. We had some fun playing on the Xbox, but I think it's time to head to bed. We spent a ton of time working on this box for it, but we got some more fun stuff to do in the morning, and we get to use the elevators a lot more, so I'm gonna cozy up here with Mr. Sharky and get some shut-eye in our amazing billionaire box for good morning everyone it is officially a brand new lit day in a box for logan wake up logan it's a brand new day it's morning you gotta get up you gotta get up. someone broke the tv during the middle of the night no 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 no, no, no. everything kind of oh and the lights are off Gee, what are you now doing? it's back to night time i turned the lights on to wake up and now the lights are off all right guys, well it is officially morning time and we were able to sleep in our super cozy bunker which is underground and only accessible through two elevators which I think is really awesome. I got a really good sleep here because I knew I was super safe, especially from raccoons. No raccoons are getting in here. But it is breakfast time which means it's time to use our elevators to go back to the main area of this box fort and have ourselves some nice breakfast. So since Logan isn't awake, I get to go first. I am not ready to wake up. I need more sleep, Jake. Logan, it's breakfast time. Come on. We are now inside the elevator, Logan. It's only one person elevator, right. so I'm going to take it up to the second store and grab ourselves some breakfast. Elevator, heading up. Ooh, here we go. Heading up to the second story. Bye, Logan. <laughs> Gotta turn the lights on. There we go. So we are all good now to make our way down for breakfast. Logan is currently bringing down the elevator. Logan, the elevator's coming down so you can get in. I'm coming. All right, come on All up right. here, dude. We got some hot bread. Right, why is you're, it going, you're going down? You're, you're going down. Elevator's having some issues. That's okay. Uh, okay, I'm coming up. All right, there you go. Jake. Uh oh. Logan, the elevator is. Uh, I think she's giving out on you. Jake, why is the elevator stopped? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We're only uh, really high up and almost touching the ceiling. All right, I got an idea, Logan. It's a little crazy, but I know how you can get in here. You're just gonna have to jump. It's the only way. If your elevator's broken, two people can't be in here at once, Jake. We're gonna have to do it, Logan. It's the only way. If your elevator's stuck, we are very high up right now on essentially the third story. Okay, all right, Logan, get in. Logan's elevator is a good not idea. working. All right, guys. So the max capacity of these elevators is supposed to be one person. Logan is now getting it. Oh, okay, Logan, you made it into the elevator. Okay, all right, I'm gonna activate it's going down. Hopefully, it doesn't break. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a little rocky. All right, we're almost there. And what was that? I heard something explode. That might that might have been the oh uh oh. Jake, oh she's still going. No no no, oh, we're going into Jake. the underground. Oh, what's up? All right, okay. I'm getting out of here. All right. All right, guys, it's time for our billionaire breakfast. And what do billionaires eat? They eat themselves some nice cold cereal, which is why I've prepared for us a beautiful meal. Alright, well this looks pretty good, but Jake, where's the milk? Well, we got a billionaire box for it, but it doesn't come with the fridge. If we brought milk in here, we'd go bad. That's why I came up with a backup plan. We got water. That's 
That's what billionaires drink, Logan. Pure, icy cold water with their cereal. I'm not, I'm not even. It's just like milk, Logan. It's just not white. Water and cereal isn't gonna taste good. Well, that's what we get, Logan, because we're billionaires. We gotta eat like billionaires. Also, uh, speaking of which, you don't have a spoon because your spoon is dirty. Jake, how am I supposed to eat this? Like a billionaire with Logan with his hands. Mm mm mm. What is good? Maybe I'll set this one. Today, guys, we're doing Billionaire's Box Fort, which is gonna be the biggest box fort we've ever made. Now, we're not doing a four-story box fort, but what we are doing is the biggest in terms of size. Not this yeah, way, the box this way. Fort. I gotta show them, I gotta show them. All right, guys, come, come inside, check this out. So, if you guys saw the Fallout 4 video, you'll know kind of what the box fort looks like. But, if we head inside here, you'll notice that there is a ton of room inside. So this is like a sleeping area. I'm not sure what we're gonna turn this in in the Billionaire's Box for, but we already have a second level made up here. So you got this area here, then you come into the main common area, which is all the way down here. Open this up, new area here. We gotta tidy this up. We got Nerf guns everywhere and stuff like that. But this is the common area. You come through here and you got all this space, but that's not all guys. Oh no, this thing doesn't finish, all right? You go over here, you've got this kind of back corner here. I might make this a kitchen, I'm not sure yet. We also have a seating area. And on top of all of that, we have a secondary entrance here, which uses a moving conveyor belt as the entrance. How sweet is that? So with this entire box fort as it is now, we're gonna add on to it and make it even bigger. And I know what you're thinking, how can this get bigger? Well, it can. We're gonna make a full-on movie theater, a full-on gaming room, a kitchen, and so much more. This is gonna be the craziest billionaire's box fort we've ever done. And of course, guys, don't forget, if you wanna enter into our massive Christmas giveaway, all you guys need to do is smack that like button down below, hit the subscribe button, and most importantly, click that bell button. The bell button is right beside the subscribe button. Smack the button, join the notification squad, because guys, we're doing a Christmas giveaway. We're giving away some pretty cool stuff. We're giving away some Xboxes, some iPhone 10s, or iPhone Xs, whatever you want to call them. We also may be giving away some PS4s because a couple of you guys are getting mad that I always give away Xboxes. And I know I'm a bit of an Xbox fanboy, but if you guys win, we might just give away PS4 instead because it's the same price anyway. But if you guys want to enter into the giveaway, you could be coming home with a brand new Christmas present from Papa Jake. It's the season of giving, so I want to get back to you guys, get back to all of you amazing viewers who have been liking the videos, watching the videos every single day out. And like I said, this is one of our last videos in this house. After this, we're moving to a brand new house, but the house is huge, guys. It has so much space for building box forts, so much space for doing fun stuff. I cannot wait for where this channel is gonna go to and I want you guys to come along for the ride. But all right guys, in order to kick things off, we gotta start by building out here. What I'm thinking is we actually extend the box fort out into this room. Oh! Logan stubbed his foot. <laughs> He was too excited to build. He was so excited you ran across the room. Like, let's build this box fort. Logan, you okay, buddy? Here, grab my hand. Box fort builders stick together. Okay. Don't cry. I uh, got this. All right. We need a gaming room. We need a movie theater. Oh, and I almost forgot. We got a fireplace we're going to incorporate in, which is cool. But like I said, guys, we got to get started here. So let's start laying down the cardboard and start building this thing. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we've got our cardboard here. We're going to start laying out the movie theater. I think that's the best place to start for this build. And then once we get this done, I'll start heading in inside to deck out the inside of the box for it with a bunch of other cool stuff. We also have the fireplace over here and I have to get inside for the gaming room. There's so much to add to this billionaire's box for it, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright guys, check it out. We just finished putting on the movie theater. This has been like absolutely one of the biggest builds we have ever done and it just keeps getting bigger. Like guys, I went to the other side of the box fort to get something and it was like a mission. I've never had that in a box fort before, but look at this. We haven't done the lighting in here yet and I'm not really sure if I am. I might put like some LED strips for ambience, but the main thing for movie theater is to have it dark. So as you guys can see, it's super dark in here. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the projector in there as well as like a white sheet that we can pull down and then we can watch movies and hang out maybe put a speaker in there of course over here we have the entrance to the main box fort which goes all the way around there we still have to build out here around the fireplace and I still have to get in and build the kitchens so there's a lot to still do and I have to start getting inside and decking this place out because guys this is a billionaire's box fort this thing's coming along awesome there's just so much it's so huge it's like hard to wrap my head around but hopefully you guys like it if you guys think this is awesome smack that like button down below let's get a billionaire's box fort worth of likes on this video so now that the movie theater is looking awesome. I think it's time to set up the kitchen. We still gotta go back in there and set up the projector as well as some lighting, but we definitely need food in this billionaire's box for it. We got a full kitchen. Check this out, guys. Now, I still gotta add some components. It kind of folds out. And you probably think, Papa Jake, that's not kitchen. It can't make food. 
I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna prove all of you wrong, all right? If you think you can make food, let me know in the comments down below right now. Logan, don't worry. I'm whipping up some food for us, buddy. little effort we got ourselves a box for kitchen now it's time to whip up some food like I said I wasn't lying this thing can make food so let's go ahead and turn the knobs here no I'm no chef boy already but I know a few things about cooking food all right guys there we go with a little bit of effort we've got ourselves a box for kitchen check that out guys this would not be a billionaire's box for without the kitchen and like I said this is our biggest billionaire's box for we have ever done so Logan's been working on the movie theater lighting and I thought you know what since we got a kitchen, why don't I whip something up for us both to eat? And I know- I heard you say my name. Yeah, exactly, dude. What's how's, going on? How's the movie theater coming along? Lighting's done, but you're gonna have to see for yourself. And yo, I was thinking, the viewers probably don't think this thing works. They don't think we can cook something up. I'm gonna prove them wrong, Logan. Check this out. Well, I mean, it's a- uh, What do you feel it's like- a little plastic kitchen. I don't know if it's- No, 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 no. Trust me, trust me. What do you feel like most right now, Logan? I'd be pretty down for a hamburger. All right, well, I cannot give you a hamburger, but it's a few switches of the button here and some nice two minutes of baking. Looks like I made us- some McFlurries. Check that out, man. What? Yep, made them from scratch. But that's an oven. Yeah, I know it is. It's a magic oven that I totally made from scratch. Yeah. I say we take a break, have some McFlurries, and then get back to building. I want to check out the movie theater because I cannot wait to watch some movies in there. All right, Jake, let's go check out that movie room. Dude, I cannot wait to see what you wait, do. Wait, wait, wait. Here, wait, you go check it out. I'm just gonna go outside for a sec. Uh, okay, all right, I'll go check out the movie room. All right, guys, let's go check out and see what Logan's been up to inside the movie theater. I'm super excited to see what's going on. Get to walk up here, around here, go through the cool door here, and then, of course, into the fireplace room. We're gonna turn the fireplace on in a little bit. We don't want it to get too hot in here yet, but it's awesome that we have an integrated fireplace into the billionaire's box for it. But all right, let's see what Logan's been talking about. This is the entrance to the movie room. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, dude! What? This is so sweet! Alright guys, so this is the fully decked out movie room. We still haven't added pillows yet, or like blankets and comfy stuff, but it looks like... Oh, we even can change the colors in here. That's so sick. Uh, let's make it green. Oh, what? Dude, this is sweet. What's you did that? amazing... What happened to your hair? I just cut my hair. You went outside and cut your hair in a minute? Do you like it? I guess. How'd you do it so quickly? I just got scissors. All right, well, Logan's got a haircut. Yeah, dude, you did a great job in here, man. This thing looks awesome. I want to get this turned on and see what it looks like on the wall. All right, guys, this movie theater is looking awesome. We still have to add the comfy pillows as well as the screen for the projector here. But before we get to that, I want to go work on the gaming room. Logan worked on this room and made it sick, so I want to try my hands at making an awesome gaming room. We're going to head on over there and start decking it out, but let's go through this massive box for it. This is where our gaming room is going to be. So, you open up this door here, you head on in, and uh, on the inside of here, we've got the vaulted ceilings. It's dark, it's well lit for gaming, and on top of all of that, we have these awesome seats which we can sit in and game. So, the way I was thinking of setting this up is using the Nintendo Switch because me and Logan are huge Mario Kart fans, and we always love to get competitive and play some Mario Kart. So we're gonna set the switch up on the wall here so we can sit here and race against each other. I'm also gonna add some extra lighting to this room to make it even cooler, so let's get started. So of course we've got our seats here which we can sit in. You know when we're gaming, I can be over here, Logan can be over here. We've got our Nintendo Switch which we can of course choose any game we want. And then above me, I've got a bunch of really awesome LED lights. And the cool thing about these guys is we can change the color. We got blue LEDs. Look at how sweet this looks. Next up, I'm gonna go into the main area and start decking it out with some really comfy blankets and pillows. And then this box for is almost done guys. I think it's time to get cooking dinner soon. So gaming room's done. Let's go check out what Logan's been up to. Guys. Check this place out. Why, dude? Oh, welcome. This is insane. To the bedroom. What? We this got... thing is fully decked out. Nice designer. Oh, what? Lamps. It's like it's chandeliers. It's a chandelier we got. That is so sweet. Oh, dude. Bro, did oh, yourself. I don't think we've ever put so much work into decking out the interior design of a box for it. Yo, this place looks super comfy, guys. It's crazy. I look in the other room and I'm like, we have a fireplace. Oh, yeah, yo, I'm gonna turn it on. Hold up. We've got a fully working fireplace inside a box fort. Fireplace here. We can relax here. It's all nice and cozy. Logan, did you do anything to the movie theater? Check it out for yourself. Dude! 
Guys, I never thought that decking out a box fort like this could have such a huge impact. You know, normally we build these things and we just kind of survive in them. Like we don't have blankets, we don't have a lot of pillows other than what we sleep with. But taking a little bit of extra time and adding all this. Oh, what? It's a movie screen. Yo, I cannot wait to watch your movie in here. All right, all right. Let's go back out into the center because I know Logan wanted to show us one more thing. And then I think it's time to grab some dinner and head up there and watch a movie. I got a mini game going we got, on. Are we playing darts? What are we doing here? It's a nerf snipe off. Oh, no way. Yep. Oh, because the box fort's so long. Yeah. Oh, you go through that sick. door. I don't even know if the Nerf gun can go this far. It's true. I think I'm going to go to the kitchen, whip us up something, and let's go to the movie theater and watch a movie. I'm cooking up something real nice for us. Don't you worry, buddy. It's going to be the best dinner you've ever had in a box fort now that I got my full kitchen here. I really don't think that's a real oven, Jake. Oh, is it, Logan? Is it not a real oven? That produces some freshly baked pizza. Came straight oh. out of the oven, nicely fresh and warm. How did you pull that off? Well, you know, you thought it wasn't real, but guys, I can show you. This is a real oven. So I think we grab our pizza, we head to the movie theater, watch a little movie, and enjoy some uh, nice dinner in our billionaire's box fort. All right, guys, coming back into the movie theater. We got our food. We've got our laptop here. We got the movie theater going. Check it out. The projector's here, projecting onto the screen. Logan's over here changing the movies up. And now... We can use our remote here to turn the lights off or, you know, dim them if we want to make them like a dark blue. Or if, you know, we're getting into the movie, just turn them completely off. But we decided because it's almost Christmas, we want to get in the Christmas mood. We're going to watch some Elf. It's my favorite Christmas movie of all time. So we're going to have our pizza and enjoy a movie. Got the Christmas red going, chilling in the box for a movie theater with the full projector going. What more can you want in the billionaire's box for it? Just finished watching the movie. That was a bunch of fun. I'm sorry to get tired, man. That was like I could have fallen asleep here. It's that comfy. I was about to say this movie theater is so comfortable. We decided before we go to bed, guys, because we do want to get to bed. It's getting late, and this is a 24-hour challenge. We decided we were gonna have a friendly, competitive game of Mario Kart. You guys always see us playing Mario Kart, and so far I'm kind of uh, the reigning champ. Oh, okay. We're gonna see about that. We're gonna head all the way over to the gaming room, which is actually a bit of a hike, and we'll get up there. I'll show Logan off with the new gaming room looks like and we'll have ourselves a good game of mario gaming room is awesome gonna pick our characters here and then jump right into this race dude you are going down man looks like oh, a man. win again i gotta i gotta brush up on my skills man you dominated me on that but you know what we got a lot of time in this box for it i'm sure we'll play again but for now logan remains the mario kart champion next time guys I'm gonna win it. But we had enough fun playing Mario Kart. It has been a super long day in the box for us. So I think it's time we go check out our super comfy beds and get ready for the nighttime because it is a 24 hour challenge and we gotta sleep soon. It has been a super long day. I'm up here on the second story. Logan is down there on the first story. And look, I got these cool little dividers here, which I think is really awesome. Ugh, but we're gonna get cozy and tomorrow have our nerf off. Honestly, guys, this isn't even a hard 24 hour challenge. The billionaire box force are the best. It's warm, it's comfy. And if you know, if I wake up in the middle of the night, uh, maybe I'll go watch another movie or play some Mario. Good night, guys. We will see you in the morning. Logan, wake up. Logan. Woo. It's another lit day in the box for Yeah. What's up, guys? We are up. We are awake. It is officially a brand new box for day. And I don't even know, is my hair good? My hair is looking good. This is like the first box for it. Logan hasn't wanted to get up. It is time though to get up. We're gonna turn all the lights on and we are going to have our Nerf off, which is gonna be sweet. If you guys do not remember uh, from last night, we built a target. So what we're gonna do for this challenge, guys, is we're gonna start off the morning with our Nerf challenge, which basically means we're gonna open up that door and tape it down and go all the way onto the other side and we're each gonna have maybe five shots. Each target marker has a point. Whoever wins is the better nerf player. We got this brand new gun. It is really awesome. We used it in the Fallout 4 video, if you guys remember. It's the Raptor Strike, which is cool. It's like a sniper rifle. Obviously we have the Mega, but this one uses regular nerf darts. I thought it'd be an awesome thing to use for this challenge because it's long range. So we're each gonna get six shots each. Whoever has the highest score wins. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh, right on the 30, dude. All right, starting off pretty strong. Let's see if we get hit the 50. Ooh. 20, all right, all right. Just, you know, 
walking in. I'm not seeing any bullseyes though. Hold on, man. That's 50 points already. Here we go. Third shot. Oh, come on. A little too high this time. Oh, the 10. All right, two more. I got to get a bullseye in here. Oh, Jake, that's rough. Okay, last shot. We got this. Dude, that is hard. It is so long range. This board is so big. Well, Jake, it looks like you got 80 points. I think I can beat that. First, First shot. shot. Here we go. Oh, starting off with 10. A little less All than right, me, man. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I got this. All right, here you go, man. Next shot. Let's see what you got. Logan and me are currently tied and he has one more shot which means if he hits a single target he wins But if he misses it's a tie and this goes into overtime <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh. All right, looks like Logan got lucky on this one guys. He got to watch me do it first So he got some extra practice Logan get in here right now Yeah, Jake what? What are you wearing? Logan, it's my thinking mask. It's the only way I can come up with the best box for building ideas ever. I have a new idea. All right, quickly, Logan, put this on. What, you made me one? It's the only way you're gonna be able to see what I'm seeing. Okay. Now, do you see it? See what? Logan, the future of box for building. Look, I know, I know you thought it couldn't be done, but I've done the math. I've done the math and the math checks out. The math on what, Jake? Logan, you need to follow me. You have to see this. This is one story. Now we have done a two story box for Logan, double the stories. We thought it wasn't possible, but we went to three stories. Now what's wrong with the fourth story? The math simply doesn't check out, Jake. We can't have four stories. Yes, Logan, the math didn't check out, but we didn't take into consideration the height of the box fort. When we get to three stories, we're touching the top of theoretical limits. This is the sky, this is our space. And what's in space, Logan? Cheese? Zero gravity. Logan, the fourth story doesn't need to be supported by the other three because it's supported already by zero Gs. Logan, this means the math checks out. It means we can do a four story box for it. We can do the big four. Four. It's gonna be an endeavor. It's gonna be something that we've never done before. The people who built the Hoover Dam had it easy. We'll have it hard, but we can do this. You really think we can do this? Logan, I know we can. We have to start building now. Today, guys, we are doing something so next level, so advanced. We're going into the future of box for building, all right, guys? We're going four stories. Four stories. Now, you guys have what? seen us. We did one story, which is well, the ground. Then we went two stories, and we thought that was crazy. We thought we were insane. Then we went three stories. We thought technology can't go any farther. We cannot go farther than three stories. But today is the day. Today is the day that we go all four stories. I know you guys have been asking us to do a box for a skyscraper, and this is kind of preparing us to do a massive Massive box for a skyscraper with multiple stories. So we're gonna kick it off with this four-story box for it. So we thought, why don't we add on to it? Why don't we take what we already have built and extend it out? We make this into a billionaire's four-story box for it, all right? Well, everyone's been asking for it. Exactly. We've done billionaires box for us before, but never four stories. So this is gonna be an all-out box for. We're gonna have a gaming room, movie theater. It is gonna be insane. This is gonna be the modern box for. We're like the Tesla of box for build. Basically, we're gonna take this and we're gonna extend it all the way out here. We're then gonna add our tables so we can start leveling up our stories. And then you're probably wondering, Papa Jake, where's the fourth story gonna go? You can only go so high. Now I know it looks a little spooky. I know it looks a little bit scary, but up there is the attic. We have gone so far, we literally need to go to the attic to make this four stories. And if you guys like this, if you guys think this video is awesome, we can actually extend our build even farther up there because there's a lot of space up in the attic that we can build with. Well guys, it looks like it's time to stop. Oh no, I'm getting really dizzy low. It's okay, Jake, oh, just breathe, just I can't breathe. see where. I'm okay. But it looks like guys, it's time to start building. So we're gonna start off with the build and then we'll get inside and start decking out this billionaire's box for it. But for now, we gotta start working on the second story. <laughs> Check it out, I've been working on the fort now for a little while. It is looking so awesome. So we have the second story already almost complete. I've laid out the entire cardboard here. And of course we got the first story, which is still down here. And we still have the whole fire station, which I do need to modify. I do need to upgrade because I think I want to kind of open it up a little bit more, make it a little more open concept. But before we get to that, I still have to put on all the walls here and I still have to do the third story. Because if we don't have a third story, there's no way for us to get to the fourth story 
which is all the way up there. Still not 100% sure how I'm gonna do this, but I think the most important thing right now is getting onto that third story and putting it all together. Then we can get inside and start decking it out. So let's keep building and see how it goes. inside the box for now and I have to say this has to be one of the most difficult box for builds in a good way all right we're going all out on this thing and it is absolutely massive now I haven't done all the interior I haven't done the lighting I also haven't gone ahead and done all the cool LED strips other than what we have left over and over here we have this whole section almost done so we have the second level here it's coming along it's looking pretty nice under here we've got an extra room this is gonna be kind of like our gaming room our chill out room we think we're gonna put a projector on this screen so we can watch movies and stuff like that. Over down there is the kitchen, which I haven't gotten to yet. Still got a lot of work to do over in the kitchen. I'll get there in a little bit, but I wanna bring you guys up to the third story because that's where I am right now. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm dealing with here. So if you follow me, you climb up around here and we have the third story. Now the third story is where things get a little bit weird because it's so tall that the roof is right there. And I actually couldn't really put a roof on it because it would be extremely difficult and extremely cramped. Now the fourth story we're gonna be building up here, which which means I gotta go and get all of our cardboard and bring it up here so we can build that fourth story. As you guys can see, this is the roof of the rest of the box for here and it is absolutely massive. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and get a bunch of cardboard, we're gonna bring it up here, and we're gonna start working on the fourth story. All right guys, so I know it's been a little while since my last update, but that's because we have been absolutely grinding this fort. In fact, we've been grinding so hard, it has become our biggest, most luxurious, most insane box fort we have ever made. And you guys know Papa Jake, all right? I make crazy box forts. This is a new level. This is four stories of awesomeness. This is Duke. by far the craziest build we have ever done. I, we gotta go inside. We gotta show you guys what we built. If you think this box fort is fire, you need to destroy that like button. And if you guys think we should go even bigger and keep this box fort, smack that like button and leave a comment down below. Hashtag keep it. And for all of you guys who are wondering when the next zombie episode is coming out, it's coming out next Tuesday. Yeah, so it's stay be tuned super for that. epic. You guys do not want to miss that. But without further ado, guys. Let's jump in this fort and show you guys our billionaire box fort. It doesn't look too impressive from the outside. I'm not gonna lie, but just wait. Here we go. Oh yeah, check this out, guys. Oh, we are inside the billionaire's box fort. Look how insane this is. So as you guys can see right off the bat, I'm standing up because it's big, it's huge in here. But not only that, we've got some crazy features. In fact, we have so many features, it's gonna take a while to go through. This is gonna need a house tour. Dude, it's gonna need a house tour. So why don't we start here in the living quarters. As you guys can see, here are the living quarters. This is one of the sleeping areas on this table here. This is the second this story. This is my bedroom. This is Logan's bedroom. We got a nice window here. We've got arrows on the wall guiding me through the box for it. Of course, the cool thing about the living quarters is, we got our very own home movie theater. That's right, a home movie theater. We tried to compile a bunch of really cool box for designs from our previous videos into this. So, home movie theater here, projector here, Nintendo Switch here. You've got an ultimate gaming and movie watching setup. You might be wondering, Papa Jake, you're in a t-shirt, but you're in the garage. That's because this place is heated. We have central heating in here, all right? <laughs> we have the nest on the wall that allows us to control the temperature and heat this entire place. But why don't we go check out another area that's really important for a billionaire's box for you. Know, you guys know, this is for the super rich of the rich. So if I want to go over there into the kitchen, you know, see it says food here, like this, I don't just walk. Because walking is so last year. You just get on the Segway, you want to go into the kitchen, you roll right into the kitchen. Check that out, guys. Now we're inside the kitchen, and welcome to our nice five-star kitchen. And let me remind you, in case you forget, we're not in Papa Jake's house. We're in a box fort. In the kitchen, we have a toaster, a working toaster, I might add. We've got our cutlery. On the wall here, we've got some napkins. We also have some extra water bottles if you feel kind of parched. Over here, we got some peanut butter on the wall because, you know, peanut butter is always good when you wake up in the morning and want to make some toast, which we can do in the box fort. And then over in this room, we have my bedroom, which is a two-story bedroom as well. Up there, we've got my sleeping quarters. Down there, we have storage, but up here is where I'll be sleeping. So up here is where I'll be sleeping. I can relax up here. It is super Super cozy. What's up? Forgot we put a window here. What's up, dude? We had to put some windows in here. We wanted a really open concept. So if Logan's chilling over there playing video games, maybe I'm chilling over here reading. We can still talk to each other. If I want to, I can even watch Logan while he's gaming. As cool as it is that we have two bedrooms, a working kitchen with a toaster, a Segway to roll around, a Nest system to heat this entire box for, lighting, LED strips, a home movie theater, home gaming setup, as well as, oh, I forgot to show you guys, we also have a Roomba over there to keep everything clean. We've got one more thing to show you guys. We have 
the fourth story. Cause this is a four story box fort. And I know you're probably thinking, Papa Jake, this can't get any bigger. This is insane. You're sitting there like, so close your mouth, smack that like button. And I'm gonna show you guys the fourth story. Dad, quiet. I'm showing them the fourth story. You gotta turn off, man. We know the fourth story box fort has been a huge thing that you guys have wanted. Yeah. Here it is, guys. You guys ready for this? So we start here on the second story. This is Logan's bedroom slash bed. You know, it's pretty sweet. Two stories. We did that. You know, that was so two months ago. Then we go to three stories. The third story is just a hallway, all right? The entire third story is literally a hallway for something even bigger. We are now going in to the fourth story. Dude, dude, <laughs> check this out. We come up here and we are in the fourth story in our four story billionaire's box for it. How sweet is this? Sorry? Oh, I wanna come up. Dude, check it out. So now you can come up here, you can read your books, relax, you know, maybe get away from everyone else because when we build box forts, they're mansions. So we have to have our own space. So I can come up here, you know, read, relax. Got a light up here, got double lights. And there's tons of room. You can just stretch right out, enjoy yourself up here. And guys, this is one of the reasons why we're like, should we hashtag keep this? Because this goes even further. We could make this bigger, which I know is crazy. I know you think it can't get any bigger, but it can. So if you guys think we should go bigger, smack that like button down below. Let's try and get 50,000 likes on this video and guys, we'll go even bigger. We've been building for a while, so I think it's time that we have our dinner. But the cool thing about a billionaire's box for it is there's no MREs, there's no crackers, nothing like that. We've got a personal chef. His name is Uber Le Eats. Cause guys, in the morning, you know, we'll make our own breakfast, but for dinner, I think we're gonna order in some Uber Eats, deliver it straight to the box fort, and enjoy that while we play some, you know, Mario Kart or something, or maybe watch a movie. But let's head back downstairs now, let's order our food, and let's check out some more of this box fort. I think this is one of my favorite box forts we have ever built, for sure. So I think it's time while we wait for our food to come to have a little Mario Kart battle. So we're gonna start playing some Mario Kart. I'm gonna get in my bed. Logan, here's your controller. That was actually insane. Oh, he gave you the best power-ups at the last second. Like, he wanted you to win. Guys, looks like I'm the champion once again. Undefeated in Mario Kart. Hey! Winner! You won this round. Yep, looks like I take it. Mario number one, Luigi number two. Check it out, food's here. We got our food here, looks like it's dinner time. Let's go to the kitchen and check it out. Yo Jake, why don't we eat dinner upstairs? Dude, that'd be sick. Let's go up to the fourth story and have our dinner. We're up in the fourth story, so we're gonna enjoy our dinner, have a nice feast in this billionaire's box fort, and then we'll go back downstairs for some more fun. Yo, so I'm thinking, dude, I feel like we have enough room in here we should try and fly a drone. Have we ever flown a drone inside a box fort? No. I said we fly the drone. This might be the worst idea or the best idea ever. We're gonna try and fly the mini drone inside the box fort. These things are super fun to fly around, so let's see if it works. It's either gonna be really awesome or this thing's gonna go flying into Logan's face. Mini drone inside the box fort. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, all right. First flight was a little wonky. Let's try that again. Oh, whoa, whoa, this thing's whoa, going whoa, whoa. crazy. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Matthew, we're flying a drone inside a box for it. I can't see. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, this time's the charm. I got it. <laughs> I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. There we go. There we go. Easy now. Easy now. Oh, it kind of worked. Hold on. I got this. <laughs> I think it's time that we hit the hay. I'm exhausted. It took a bunch of energy to build this thing, but we still have lots of fun stuff. So we're going to get to bed now because we built the billionaire's box for it. I mean, there's, there's not much to it. I mean, we just did a challenge surviving in the woods. That was hard. It was cold. It was wet. It was rainy. We're in the middle of the woods. This is luxurious. I mean, I might as well be in a hotel right now. We're going to start turning off our lights, getting into our beds. Before we do that though, one last thing I forgot to mention, we got a security system. Check this out, guys. So we've got onboard motion sensors. So we turn this on and then if someone walks in during the night, 
it goes off and we know someone's in our box oh, for it. Snap. All right, let's get to bed. Well, it looks like it is time to hit the hay. It has been an awesome and amazing day in this billionaire's four-story box fort. It's time to get into our nice comfy beds, our luxurious rooms, and go to sleep so we can have an awesome day tomorrow. See you guys in the morning. It's a brand new day in the box for it. Come on, Jake, we got things to do, buddy. <laughs> oh, we're filming. What's up, guys? How's it going? Just woke up. It is day two. Day one, day two in the box for it. Uh, how did you sleep? I slept great, man. Like, honestly, I have to say, going from a very, very, very cold forest box for it. This was nice stuff heating in here because I was toasty warm. In fact, at some points I took my blanket off. It was that warm. Jake, I think it's time for some food. Food? You want you want Chef Papa Jake to whip you up something in the box? From I kitchen? would love. All right. Welcome everyone to the kitchen. It's a new day in our billionaire's box fort, and unlike regular box forts, our box fort comes with an entire kitchen, which is why Papa Jake will be oh. <laughs> what happened there? That's all right. That's perfect. We need some water for breakfast, <laughs> which is why I'm gonna be making us some classic breakfast: peanut butter toast. What more can you ask for in a billionaire box fort? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like toast is ready. Got some box for toast, the best kind of toast. Of course, we've got our cutlery nicely positioned here to make this. I'm gonna grab our peanut butter off the wall. Perfect. Logan, what do you want on your toast? Peanut butter, Jake. Of course, that's your only option. All right, there we go. We got some peanut butter on this one. A lot, a lot of people thought Papa Jake wasn't a professional chef. Well, if you don't think I'm a professional chef, look at this. Could I have done this if I wasn't professional? Right, well, there we go, guys. We got our nice peanut butter toast in the morning. Gonna put our peanut butter back in our holder here. And so we don't get peanut butter everywhere, this goes back in the little holder here. And we can wash that later when we're done in the box for it. So let's head up to the fourth story and have our breakfast in the chill room. I think I've had done myself, Logan. This is some very good peanut butter toast. Well, we had our breakfast. We played Mario Kart, we checked out the entire box fort, the kitchen, the fourth story, the third story, the video gaming room, the movie room, our bedrooms, the onboard heating. This has been an insane build. It has been one of our biggest builds. In fact, it is our biggest build ever. Time for me to enjoy a nice dinner at this marvelous hotel that I paid so much money for. I cannot wait to see what the chefs have cooked up for me at my private dinner. Waiter! I demand my dinner now, please. Chop chop. So sorry for the wait, my sir. Your banana a la carte. Mmm, yummy. Enjoy. I spent $800 on this, so it should taste amazing. Time to eat! Hmm. Exquisite! Fine job to the chef! Hats off to him! <laughs> No, dude, I know, I know, I know. And then me and Logan, we were filming, right? And then we had all this slime and went all over the box. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta order my dinner. One second. And what can I get you, sir? Do you, do you have anything like uh, uh, chicken nuggets? I didn't see anything on the menu like that. I just want like some you know, classic chicken nuggets and fries. What kind of talk is that? It's such a fancy hotel. What type of hotel do you think this is? What do you mean? What's wrong with chicken nuggets and fries? Chicken nuggets? My word, I, I feel faint. I must go back to my room. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. M m Mr. Reginald, please don't go. I'll be back when you get this rift raft out of here. You, sir, need to leave right now and never come back to this hotel. Are you fine, fine. You know what? You know what? I'm leaving. I don't want to be here anyway. I don't need your fancy dancy hotel, okay? I'm leaving. It's not good enough for Papa Jake anyway. Hello? S someone in there? Uh, hi. I, I couldn't help but hear you were being kicked out of the hotel. I think I might have a proposition to help you out with your problem. You're Pop Jake, right? Yeah, Master Box Fort Builder. Why, why, why are you in this bathroom? Since they won't let you in this hotel, 
I've been looking to invest in my own hotel, and you could build it. I have plenty of tape rolls, and all you would need to do is run the hotel and build it. No funny business whatsoever. Build my own hotel? Yeah, then I can show this fancy hotel who's boss. I can make my own hotel, my own rules. And you're willing to fund this whole project? I am the master box for a builder. You know what? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll take you up on this offer. I'll build the best hotel this world has ever seen. Oh, wonderful. I'll supply the funds right away and you start building. And yes, no funny business whatsoever. Okay, perfect. I'll start working on the plans right now. Thank you, mister. Aha! The bear strikes again. He didn't suspect a thing. Ayo! What's going on everyone? It's Papa Jake here and we are back with a brand new video and today we are going to be building a box for hope. No. Buddy, what are you... Just working on my floss, Jake. No, you got it. We're, we're, it's, it's, we're building a hotel today, Logan. We're building the Boxford Hotel. B build our own hotel? Yes, Logan, that is right. It is going to be called the Papa Grande. Maybe we could put your name in there too. But yeah, guys, we're building our very own hotel today. But Logan, we need to start building this hotel, which means I need my Boxford building kit. Watch this, buddy. All right, stand back, everyone. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nice, nice. Woo! Oh! And there we go. Jake, that, that was pretty legit. We got a lot more building to do, so let's get building this thing. Two thousand years later. Bro, check this out. Guys, the Boxford Hotel. Boxford La Hotel is built. It is up and running and operational. And it's two stories. It's two stories, bro. Look at this red carpet here. You're like... I feel like a fancy movie star coming in here, but uh, I, I guess all there is now is to vlog our experience in the hotel. I don't really know what to expect. I don't even know, is, is someone gonna come out here and welcome us or? No idea. How, how do we get a room? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Boxport La Hotel, the most luxurious hotel known to the world. Can I interest you in an eight piece musical about our marvelous hotel? Uh, no, 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 we, we good. We don't. Oh, we don't need a, a the whole box for total. We don't need a whole musical, okay? Uh, we just want to stay in the hotel overnight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you come inside and we'll get you registered into your rooms. Follow me. Yeah, dude, this place is super luxurious, though. Oh, welcome to the Boxford Hotel. Now, I assume you two would like a room. So, let me just call upstairs and see how we're doing on our inventory. We are extremely booked most of the time. Yes, Harvey, this is Le Pepe. Looking for two rooms for two marvelous guests. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Okay. All right. I'll let them know. All right. We have two grand suites ready. The price for each is ten thousand dollars a night. Ten thousand dollars a night? What? That's insane. We built this place. Come on. Fine. I guess I'm getting a ten thousand dollar night room. Do, do you take cash? I, I'm not taking a ten thousand dollar hotel room. What's the cheapest you got? The cheapest room in this hotel? Ah. Uh, we, we aren't exactly that kind of hotel that offers cheap rooms. Uh, well, I could offer you the box for $100 a night, but I mean, that's not what we're all about here. It's $10,000 a night standard. Okay, well, here's my uh, $10,000. The $10,000 suite, you will not regret this. <sighs> Luxury. Okay. Here is your golden key card. Access it with your room and all amenities come free. Oh, oh okay, thank you. Oh, that is pretty nice. Here's my hundred. Here is your key card. It's a bit, uh, Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Enjoy your rooms, gentlemen. And if there's anything I can help you with, just ask for your pippin. Thank you very much, I guess. We'll yeah. be off to our rooms. Now just follow the elevator. Both your rooms are on the second story above us. Okay, wait, wait for me. All right, come on, get inside. 
Okay, well he said uh, second story, so I, I guess we go here. Oh, a little, uh, little, little shaky in the elevator. I think that's the luxury talking. Kind of weird music too, if you ask me. Uh, I guess we're here. Whoa. All right, door's opening, man. All right, let's check it out. This is my room and that's your room. Wait, why is my door so small? Don't know, I guess because it's the $100 room? And what? Where, where's your key card slot? I don't even think it has one. Uh, no, nope, the door's, the door's open. How uh, am I gonna get in there? I honestly, I, I don't know, but I'm gonna go to my room, Logan, so you, you enjoy your room. This is the golden key card, so I guess we just put it in here. Oh, okay, and it's unlocked. Let's check this thing out. Oh, okay, that, that looks Whoa. pretty nice. This is insane, guys, look at this. What? Can I come? No, no, no dude, go, go, just go, go to your room, man. This is, this is, uh, I'm just gonna lock this because I have security reasons and stuff. Guys, check this out. Well, they were not kidding about our own custom portrait. Yo, it's literally my face on a painting. It's like a diamond portrait of myself. Wait, hold on, I gotta, I gotta get the lights on in here. Uh, oh, 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 okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, Google, turn the lights on. Sure, turning 35 lights on. Oh, that is sweet. But yo, guys, that is definitely on the list. That makes this room worth $10,000. Let's see what else is in here. The bed, look at that. Oh, and keep in mind, we are on the second story of a box fort hotel, and I'm just chilling in like a queen size bed. I mean, okay, fine, it's not, it's not like a queen size bed, but this bed is pretty lit. Also just noticed my very own Google Home Assistant. We got Papa Jake YouTube videos playing in this hotel room. I'm gonna give Logan a call and uh, check out what's going on with him. I wanna see what's happening in his room. Hi Pepe, can you put me through to Logan's room? Okay, thank you. That's, that's weird, okay. Logan, uh, Logan doesn't have a phone in his room. All right, I have no idea what's going on in Logan's room right now, but I'm, I'm sure it can't be that bad. Oh guys, oh no, I don't know about this. Okay, what, this is it? Guess I'm just gonna put my head on this pillow. This is my self-portrait? That doesn't look anything like me. There's not that much to do in this room. I mean, it's pretty much empty, so maybe I'll just take a nap. This is the menu that I have on the iPad here, and we have access to everything. There's coffee, tea, desserts, burgers, sandwiches, literally anything we could want in order to this hotel room. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like, Italian tonight, so maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll go here and order some Italian food and get ourselves some pasta This is probably the worst hotel room. I've ever seen. I don't even have a phone. How am I gonna get room service? Hello, sir. I'm your bloop bloop. What? How am I help you? Bloop 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 bloop. Yep, my name's bloop bloop. I'm your smart home device Right, he said each room has a smart home device and I guess I got a bloop 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 are you just gonna stare at me all day, Bloop Bloop? I don't wake until you say my wake word. So you're just gonna stay like that? Bloop Bloop. Hey Google, tell me a joke. What sound do porcupines make when they kiss? Ouch. <laughs> bloop Bloop, play me music. Bloop Bloop, playing Top 40 by Bloop Bloop. I was sitting in my hotel room and watching dumb TV. Okay, okay, bloop bloop, just stop. Bloop bloop, just stop. Bloop bloop. Oh, must be my food. Perfect, I am starving. Okay, bloop bloop, uh, what, what can you get me? Can you get me room service? Bloop bloop, gonna get it. All right guys, so I got my hotel box for food here and I don't even know how the chefs are cooking in this hotel, but check this out. Ooh, wow, that is nice. So I got the broccoli and chicken pasta with some nice tonic water. So I think I'm just gonna sit here, eat this up, enjoy it and uh, get ready for bed. Not sure what Logan's up to, but I'm sure he's having fun in his room as well. He loves room service. Bloop, bloop, turn to your chicken. This is chicken? Dinner's been served. You call this chicken? This is not chicken breast. This isn't cooked. This is just a slice of ham. 
Yes, you have the $100 meal plan. Would you like to order another piece of chicken? No, I don't want another slice of ham. You're the man. I've had it with this hotel room. Bloop, bloop. Thanks for all of your help. Bloop, bloop. I'm, I'm leaving. I can't do this anymore. So I finished dinner and now I've gotten all cozied up inside the Boxford Hotel. So I think I'm going to chill out, watch a movie on the TV and head to bed. I'm sure Logan's enjoying his room just as much as I have been, but this is quite the luxury hotel. So I'll, uh, I'll update you guys in the morning. The Baron has returned. Glad to see my hotel is up and running. Papa Jake did a fine job. Now Pepe. Are the plans going according to plan? Uh, yes, sir. I've instructed Papa Jake to go to his room and he's in there right now. Perfect. Tomorrow morning we'll be paying him a little visit. And finally, we can put an end to Papa Jake. Safe. Somebody's trying to break in. Boxford in the world, and now someone's gonna beat me to it. Well, since Logan's not gonna help me build the world's biggest box fort, looks like I'm gonna have to build it on my own. Guys, today I am building the world's biggest, most insane, most epic box fort you have ever seen. Now, as you guys know, my plans for this box fort were stolen and Logan decided to stay asleep. Literally upstairs, he's sleeping. He doesn't want to be a part of one of the greatest achievements in all of humankind. So I am staying down here all night working on the craziest box for that we can do a 24 hour challenge in. Now I'm nowhere near complete. I still gotta add a ton of stuff to this thing, but there is some really cool stuff inside this and I'm gonna show you guys just why this is the coolest box for ever. But guys, I wanna show you this before Logan gets down here and sees it in the morning because he is gonna be walking into a 20 24 hour challenge that he is not expecting. You might notice it's, uh, it's pretty sweet, it's pretty big, it's a little empty still, like I said, I got a ton of stuff to add, but as you guys can see here, this is the main room. Now, there is a secret doorway here. I'm not gonna show you how it works yet, we're gonna wait for Logan, but there's a secret door and a very secret elevator. I'm gonna have to show you how it works later on in the video. Okay guys, so right now we are in another section of the fort. Now I've done a little bit of work setting up the gaming room here. There's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be adding here. I've got a lot of really cool things like a defense system. I've got an escape hatch. I've got a driving range to play golf. But you're probably wondering, Jake, where are we? Don't get too scared now. We are three stories up inside the secret area of the fort that is completely safe from anything on the ground. I mean, we're talking zombies, we're talking raccoons, we're talking ants. I'm even saying evil llamas can't get us. We've got the sky wing over here. You can actually go out down there. That's where I'm gonna install the golf course over here is where I'm gonna install some of the other cool things that we're gonna have. I'm gonna have a security system so we can actually fly a drone around the fort and I'm adding a missile launcher. I think first things first, now that I've shown you guys a little bit of an update as to what I'm working on, we need to get back into building this thing and start working on some of the cool features. And guys, if you love us making massive forts like this, also if you think that I should go wake Logan up with a Nerf blaster, why don't you hit that like button? Why don't we try and crush 50 thousand likes on this video for more insane forts or to see Logan get woken up with the nerf blaster either either one will work but all right guys let's get building so as you guys can see here you've come outside the top secret upper layer of the fort 
down here to our very own personal driving range. Now we got everything you need. You got your golf club here, which is stuck on the wall. We got a fresh, very nice sheep of fake grass. Over here, we've got our golf ball dispenser. So you would grab your golf ball from down here, like so. And then a brand new one shows up there. And then you can hit it off of here into our targets. Now over here is where I've got the targets. We got 50 points, 500 points, 100 points. Zero, zero points over there. That's why there's a frowny face. And then the Omega 1000 points. So I'm actually really excited to see how me and Logan compete against one another. And then once you're done, you just pop the golf ball back in here, like so, and you're good to keep playing golf. It is almost time to wake Logan up, but I still got some more stuff to do on the fort. So I think the next thing I'm gonna work on are the defense missiles. Check this out. I've got the missile system set up on the side of the fort. Now, you guys might remember this from our pug box fort that we did for Luna. If you guys haven't checked out, you definitely need to. I've rejigged this thing so that we can actually use it as a defense item against anyone trying to infiltrate the fort. You guys know my plans were stolen. So if whoever that was comes back and tries to steal something else from me, we got this bad boy to stop him. Turn it on like so. Ball's gonna come down. Might be a slight issue, slight, slight issue with the missile system. Ball comes down when the missile system's ready. And oh, this is looking pretty good. So I think it's time to move on to another feature of the fort, which is going to be the emergency exit. There are people out there trying to steal my fort. And if they come here, we might need an emergency exit. If we're all the way up there, I don't know about you, but I'm not jumping down from up there. I'm back up in the secret top part of the fort and I've actually gone ahead and added an escape feature. So you come over here, which is the area where we can actually shoot out of using our missiles. Also add a little reticle up there so you can see better. In the event of an emergency and we have to evacuate the box fort, you would simply come on over to here, but this wall is actually cut very slightly throughout here. But if I were to punch this really hard, this whole wall is going to come off and there's gonna be an opening here. Then I went ahead and wired this here to activate a pump, which is going to inflate an emergency device, basically activating as a cushion so we can jump down from the third story onto a nice little bed and then get out of the box for it safely. Like I said, I'm gonna wait for Logan to come before I actually demonstrate all of this stuff because I'm really excited to try this out. I think it's almost time to go ahead and wake him up. I still got a lot to do in the fort. I know he's gonna be mad if I do absolutely everything so I gotta leave some stuff for him but one more thing I did add over here in our gaming room which is also gonna be our sleeping quarters for the 24-hour challenge let's just say we hear a noise in the middle of the night you know you can look out here you can look around maybe you can see something but what if you can't well that's where I got this over here here we got a little miniature drone on a helipad out here and it actually uses these VR goggles so I can put the VR goggles on and then using the controller I can fly around the entire fort and check if anything is going on at any time considering it's almost morning i think we should uh, grab a nerf blaster and head upstairs and wake logan up it's time for him to see this fort all right guys so i just got upstairs the fort is nearly complete but i think it's time to wake logan up and show him what i've been working on hey logan wake up time oh and i've been working on a brand new box for it all night oh well, we gotta go see the box for wake up wake up wake up okay, sleep okay. out of your eyes Get up or I'm gonna reload this bad boy! I'll meet you there, okay? All right, all right, let's head downstairs and show off the box for it, Logan. You've got five minutes to get up, let's go! Logan, check it out, the box for it is coming together! The three-story, most epic, billionaire, elevator-infused, top secret fort I have ever made. I stayed what? all night working on these plans. Logan. I got the box here, I got the arrows, I got the plans, I got everything. But that's not important because this bad boy is complete and ready for a 24-hour challenge. This thing is massive. Oh, yeah. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you head inside the first entrance here and you can notice the first room in the box for Jake, you built all of this last night without me. Yes, well you were sleeping and you didn't answer my radio call, so I had to go build it myself. Jake, this place is crazy. In here, we've got our kitchen with all of our amazing snacks to survive 24 hours. We got chips, we got candy, we got chocolate. That's all we're eating for 24 hours. It's chips, candy, and chocolate. I couldn't fit anything else. What do you mean 24 hours? We're gonna be here for 24 hours, Logan. We got all the stuff we need. Logan, I didn't just build this thing so we could look at it. We are staying in it and surviving in it for 24 hours, especially since someone stole my top secret plans. We need a place to lay low and stay safe. And the only way to do that 
It's a perfectly balanced diet. Fuzzy peaches. This, this is peaches. not a perfectly balanced diet. I also got a clock on the wall, so we always know what time it is and we'll know when the 24 hour challenge is up. It doesn't work, so we might be here forever. I didn't want to have anyone that wanders in here able to get inside our top secret base because our secret base is up above on the third story. So if you come in here right now, you think, wow, these guys made a pretty sick fort. This is really awesome. But there's no way to get to the third story. Come up here and pull this hatch. The wall falls down, revealing a secret entrance to a working box fort elevator. Come check this out. All right, look, now the elevator only works one at a time, so I'm gonna meet you on the second story. You've got a window so you can look outside. You've got a phone in here in case of an emergency. Uh, it's not connected, but you know, in case of an emergency, you could use the phone, bash the window open, and then you close the secret door here, thus concealing the elevator. And with the press of a button, the elevator will start to rise. Check this out. Oh, here we go, guys. We're coming up to the second story. Checking out, okay, There we are. We're officially on the second story. I didn't even have to move. See, that's the power of elevators. This is our area where we've got our escape hatch as well as our missile blaster. But Logan, I'm gonna send the elevator down to you so you can come up. I love these elevators so much. All right, let's hop in. Just something about a box for it that can go up and down. That is super cool. I am inside the elevator. Time to go up. Goodbye, lower story. And hello, Jake. What's up, dude? Once the elevator comes up, not only is the room super top secret because you'd have to know about the secret wall to get in, but if the elevator is up here, there's no way for anyone to get up because we're the only ones that can send it back down. This is the first level before we head to the third story, but we've got a couple things here. I've got our escape hatch, which we might be using later tonight. We'll, uh, we'll see how it works. But over here, Logan, I've got our working missile launcher. Fire it up like this. You've got a little aiming reticle up here. I think this is the fetch machine. Exactly, but I repurposed it so that we can shoot balls. The coolest part of the fort, dude, is over inside here. Jake, how high are we right now? Jake, the fort feels a little rickety. It feels like we could fall at any minute. It is a little rickety and I have not tested it with two people, but you feel safe up here, Logan, because you're far away from the ground. You're far away from anyone down there. We got our Xbox so we can play games as well as watch movies. We got a super comfy place to sleep tonight. We also have a ton of awesome activities up here. Plus, I even have a secret defense drone that I can fly around using a VR headset. I mean, we got Captain America shield. It kind of feels like we're in a treehouse, Jake. It does, dude. Look how high up we are. Now, don't get too scared if you look down there, but we are extremely high up. And I've got tons of activities for us. This, this is a top secret activity for later. I even got a potty. Potty? A potty. So if you have, have to go, I, I'm kidding. It's not actually a potty, but it looks like a potty. It's a game that we can play tonight. All right, Jake, well, put away the potty. Uh, what's out there? Well, Logan, that is the Sky Wing where we've got our mini golf. Jake, you made a golfing area? Oh yeah, Logan, we got our very own driving range. Check this out. Complete with our very own piece of grass with our golf club and golf ball dispenser. Now over there, I've already shown it off. We've got a bunch of different holes that we have to try and hit the golf balls into and each of them have different points ranging from zero to a thousand. We both are gonna get three shots each and whoever gets the most points wins. Well, Jake, it just so happens I'm a pro golfer. Place your bets in the comments down below. Who do you think is gonna win this golf match? For a shot in three, two, one. Oh, I just missed 500. It's like, oh, I just missed it. I almost missed the 50. That was so close. Yo, that did almost go in the 50. That needs an instant replay. Thousand points, gonna destroy Logan in three, two, one. Oh no. Oh, it's coming back. Aww. Well, it looks like I'm uh, at zero points. Okay, so Logan, all you need to do to win this golf challenge is get it in any one of those holes. Right, guys, Logan is setting up for his first shot here. He's got a ton of options. I was trying to get it in the thousand. Let's see what he can do. He's already dropped the golf ball. Oh! <laughs> oh, 500,000, okay. let's right. go. 
it's 500. Yeah, that, that. Okay. Oh, it's 500 Logan, points. Logan did win fair and square. I did not think you were going to get that in. But Logan, we've got other stuff to do in this box for. Originally, I was thinking we could go have a snack or something like that. But because Logan beat me in that challenge, I really want to follow up with another game. So you plunge down here and it's completely random. Whoever pops up the poop, I think either wins or loses. I actually don't know how it works. You guys will have to let me know in the comments how that works. But for the purpose of this, if you activate the poo, uh, I think if you activate the poo, you lose. Okay, all right. Well, I think it's time to try this bad boy out. So what you do is you flush the toilet here, like so. I got one. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna plunge down one time. No Mr. Poo yet. Okay, all right. Oh, I'm scared about this, guys. One, two, three. Oh, it came out. Mr. Pooh came out. But that, that was a weird game. That was a little bit of a weird game, but I actually have a better game because we are up so high. I was thinking, we're like birds. And what do birds look like, Logan? They look like airplane. Logan, did you hear that? I think I hear a zombie. How could there be another zombie in our basement? Logan, there might be a zombie in the basement, but it's okay, do not panic. I've got the activation plans all set in place. I've got our surveillance drone, Logan. I'm gonna have to go into VR and check this out. There's a zombie for Logan. He's flying around our floor. Jake, how could there possibly be zombies? Logan, I've prepared for everything, okay? An attack from zombies, an attack from whoever stole my plans. That's why I made this board so secretive. All right, I'm online. I'm in the headset cockpit view. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, hit the roof. All right, we're okay, Logan. Oh, okay, we're on the ground. All right, I am, uh, it's a little hard to fly first person. Oh, oh, I hit something. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not seeing any zombies right now. So far, so good. I see an airplane turning around. This is actually, oh, Logan, Logan, I got visual on a zombie. What? I got visual on a zombie. I repeat, visual on a zombie. The plane's gone down. Oh, oh, visual. Oh, the zombie's trying to smack the plane, Logan. It's trying to smack the plane. Oh, it's coming at me. It's coming, I'm trying to hit, oh, it's hitting the plane. I don't know what's going on in the head. Ah! Logan, we lost the play. I, I don't know what's going on in the headset, but I'm, I'm just really comfortable right I now. I realize you don't know what's going on in the headset, Logan, because you're not in the headset, but I'm telling you there's a zombie out there. Quickly, get to the missile launcher now. Missile launcher is on, Jake. Zombie is in sight. All right, give him everything, Logan. Oh, we missed Jake. All right, keep firing, Logan. Oh! Zombie went down! Jake, that hit him in the face! Direct headshot of the zombie! Why do I hear more zombies? Uh, okay, Logan, I'm gonna have to level with you right now. I may have ordered a couple zombies just to test out the fourth security system and make sure that it's up to standards. What do you mean you ordered zombies? I, uh, you can actually buy a lot on Amazon. Logan. They got a lot of stuff, including zombies. But Logan, yes, there are zombies coming to the fort and I just realized we are out of missile launcher ammo. So this might be a good time to use the evacuation plan. What do I do? Do I hit this button? No, 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 okay, it's wired to only one button. It's just this button here. So what we do first is we're going to activate the button. Okay, as you can hear, it's inflating, so let's open up the evacuation door in three, two, one. Uh, I may not cut the door well enough. Three, two, one. Gee, you didn't uh, even cut the door. I tried to cut it very slightly. We gotta, gotta get out of here, Logan. This is not a very good emergency door. Okay, I'm trying. I thought it would just blow off. If I, there we go. Okay, the evacuatory safe pad is inflating. Now, all we need to do is wait for it to inflate and then jump. I don't know if evacuatory is a word, Jake. I think it might be a word, Logan, okay? But just once it's ready, we jump. Jake, I'm not jumping from up here. Logan, that's the point of the safe pad, okay? I knew it was too high to get down on our own, so I made a safe pad. You jump, it's like landing on a pillow. Why don't we just take the elevator? Because, Logan, there could be zombies down there. We need to get around them so we can take them down. We gotta jump on the pad. Jake, I thought you said we were doing a 24-hour challenge. Why are we already leaving the fort? Okay, yes, we are gonna do a 24-hour challenge, Logan, but I think that this fort could be even better. I know it's really amazing already, but I think we could go bigger, stronger, and maybe even taller. All right, guys, I'm about to go evacuate the fort. Do not try this at home. Hashtag squad! Ah! Okay, three, two, one. Ah! Whoa! Today, guys, we have built the world's most top secret box fort known to man. So secretive that no one is able to get inside of it unless you know how. Not so secretive if you, you just get tell the world. inside the front door? I mean, it wasn't that hard. The door, there's no lock on the door, Jake. Okay, the front door's not the secret part. The rest of the box fort is the secret part. On the outside, it might look like a happy little home, but deep within it, underground, through multiple tunnels, 
we have built a top secret base because as you just saw, we had a break and enter last night. Because Logan, I am the only one on this planet that holds the plans to the world's biggest box fort and whoever those masked men were knew I had them and they wanted them. We only had a break and entering because of Jake and his plans for the world's biggest box fort. Jake, why do you have to make plans? Whoa, 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 Logan, slow your roll, okay? Those are extremely important plans. They are more valuable than the Mona Lisa, more valuable than the pyramids. The world's biggest box fort plans have been coveted for years and whoever those men were want them from us. That is why we needed to build a top secret box fort so if they come back and they will, because you know what they say, guys. Lightning strikes twice, but this time, we got top secret box for it. But here's the catch, guys. It is so secretive that only members with clearance are allowed to get in. You have to be a part of the squad. So if you guys want to join the squad and get clearance to the top secret box for it, you need to scroll down below, hit that subscribe button, destroy that bell button, and comment hashtag squad! Then you'll officially have a badge right here. Squad member. But Jake, we gotta get in the secret fort because it's dark out. And you know, when it's dark out, these people come to our house. All right, well guys, the first step to get inside the box fort, you need to use this, it's called the door. It opens like this. Now you come inside. Logan, why? This was your room. Logan was supposed to build. Logan, why did you build a rainforest in here? Jake, I like plants. I, I can see you like plants, It buddy. makes you feel like you're outside. Yeah, this looks like I'm in the middle of a jungle. This was one of Logan's main jobs. It said make a really cool entrance. He made a jungle. So if you guys like jungles. It's like a rainforest, Jake. Hashtag jungle, Jake. Hashtag jungle. Okay, all right, all right. Well guys, inside the jungle, is the main part of the box for now you're probably thinking papa jake this is pretty small you told me it's the coolest box for it ever and it is because right here is where we get to chill you know this is just a normal fort we've got normal fountains trees okay logan pretty much just made a jungle but that's not the point okay this is actually a decoy this is not all you see for if you look around can you guys spot any secret stuff in here that might lead to the next area you come in here and think papa jake and logan aren't home no one's answering the phone. But what you don't know is that there is a secret way to access the rest of the fort. Check this out, guys, okay? So over here, this wall, which is covered in jungle leaves, is completely sealed off. In fact, it is extremely heavy and hard to move. So if you even came over here and saw that there was a little bit of a circle here, you couldn't really push this in. You can't do anything. It is stuck in place. Logan, what are you doing? This is no time to sleep. We're gotta get in the back of it's the most secure fort. We gotta get to the back. We got a, like 6,000 more locked doors to go through. Hit the bookshelf, Jake. You just gave it away to everyone. Now everyone knows how to get through our fort. Okay, fine. So yes, there is a bookshelf here. And with the pull of one of these books, guys, it is going to activate the door. Check this out. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Oh, oh there she goes. The door opens and the wall comes detached from the box fort, thus revealing a secret entrance. Now, we only have about 30 seconds before this door closes, so we need to get inside, but follow me, guys. Jake, does this not remind you of Indiana Jones? A little bit, yeah. That was kind of the goal with this room, you know, make it like Indiana Jones. All right, once you get in here, this is the next area. Into oh, the hallway. It's oh, it's- oh, The door's closing. It's closing. like Indiana Jones. <laughs> So that is going to seal off the entrance so no one can find us. And the door is officially locked. We are completely safe inside the next area of the box fort. And that's it, guys. Now we are in the secret area of the fort. That's everything. We just chill back here and wait for the bad guys to come. Okay, yeah, I'm totally kidding. You guys know us. We went way harder than that. Up next is a retina scanner. Now, this is only accessible using my eye because my eye is a special... I don't know how retina scanners work, but it's like a lock. So I just go over here and look at this thing, scans my retina, and there you go. I'm blind in one eye, but the door is open. Here we are, guys, in the command center. This is probably my second favorite room, guys. I mean, it doesn't really look like a rainforest, so it's definitely not as cool, but it's still pretty cool. This is where we have all of our gadgets so that we can make sure that our box force stays top secure. We got a sound amplifier, night vision goggles, a 3D clock. This clock doesn't work, but this one does, Logan, and it's made, it's it's actually an owl. Don't touch, don't touch the clock. The clock's an angry clock. And we got Fortnite. We also got Fortnite, so if you want to take a little bit of a break, we can chill back here and play Fortnite. And over here, guys, we've got a camera switch that allows us to access surveillance cameras around the fort. So uh, check this out. Let's go to the main entrance. Why don't we check the left side of the fort? Everything's looking good. 
and this is the fort. Now it's now, we're just kidding. Of course, we went way harder than that, guys. This is not the final room. In fact, if you were breaking into our fort, you might think this is the final room. And even though, yes, all of this stuff is usable, and we might actually have to use it, like these night vision goggles, which I might keep on for the rest of the video. How do I look, Logan? You, you look cool, but Jake, we don't need night vision right now. You don't know when you're gonna need night vision, Logan. You never know when you're gonna need night vision. All right, guys, the next room and the most top secret room, we're talking three levels of clearance, which by the way, guys, if you think this is awesome so far, be sure to smack that like button and tell us what your favorite part of this fort is. Get 20,000 likes. And you better not say the jungle part because that's that the worst part of this fort. No, it's not, it's not the jungle, but the next part is even cooler and that's where we're actually going to be sleeping during the night and keeping our blasters as well as all of our equipment to defend the fort so over here this looks like a normal ventilation shaft just you know giving you air making the fort all nice and fresh if we move this like so it reveals a secret tunnel now we have the ventilation shaft which you can crawl through it's a little cramped in here but that's to make sure it's very secretive and then we have a double locking door system here so we go through the first door and then the second door which reveals the sleeping quarters now we are one two three four five rooms back into the fort and this is the super comfy sleeping quarters probably my favorite i was gonna say this might be my new favorite spot take in that we have a front door a mechanical door a retina scanner a vent and double doors all protecting us back here i mean if someone wants to try and break into this box for it they're gonna have to go through an awful lot logan you're also probably wondering papa jake didn't you say that this is where you're keeping all your gear because there is another level to this fort over here guys there is a hatch which if you pull down like so it reveals another wall, which you will think, oh, this is just a wall. Can't get through that, there's nothing in here. When in fact, this is the top secret blaster room. This is where we keep all of our defense gear and gadgets so that we can defend the fort. And you activate it through this. Here we go, guys. The blaster room is opening up, revealing all of our gear. Check this out. This is probably the most awesome nerf room i have ever seen it is a top secret nerf room guys no one would know about this room even if they managed to get all the way back in here they would have no idea about a top secret nerf room i mean just look at this place we got ammo for days in case we do get into a battle we got weapons hanging on the wall here this is personally one of my favorites this is a modified nerf blaster with a working red dot sight that you can actually turn on you guys look through there i also modified this it's a zombie nail blaster, but I modified it with a long scope and a long barrel. So I actually didn't have a chance, but I'm going to start loading up some of this stuff. Jake, while you're loading up, uh, we forgot to show you guys the most secret, most important part of this bunker. Underneath this blanket is the safe. All right, so if we just enter the code. Wait, Jake, I just entered the code, it didn't work. Oh yeah, I changed it. Even though you are my most trusted friend, even you, I cannot trust that's safe code with. But if you wanna see what's inside, I'll gladly show you. Inside the safe, guys, we have two very important things. One, on this piece of paper, are the plans for the world's best and biggest box fort. But not only that, I have a real life working EMP. Jake, what's an EMP? It's an electromagnetic pulse, Logan, that can shut down all electricity in a mile radius. Jake, why do you have an EMP? Because Logan, just in case something goes wrong, you always need a backup EMP. Now. To keep this safe closed and locked so that no oh no the alarm logan we need to get to the control room now it looks like they're here grab a weapon logan we might need to defend this place come on grab a weapon let's go no sleep time logan all right get to take my favorite the sniper let's go jake all right here might need a clip fully loaded ready to go meet me in the control room come on all right guys let's take a look at the cameras and see what we're dealing with looks like we got guys in the front entrance they're making the way towards the fort. This isn't good, Logan. All right, I've got an idea. Even though we're secure back here, we still don't want them messing around with our house. I see we go to the front of the house and try and defend the fort. I mean, worst case, we can fall back here. There's also some other secret surprises I haven't told you guys about and ways we can defend the base. Come on, let's go. All right, come on, they're just outside. Let's take up a defensive position. All right, looks like we got three guys moving in our way. I got the one on the left, hold on. Take some of this, buddy. 
Oh no, we got one moving on the right. Oh, I see them. Got him, he's down. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. I got an idea. I got a secret smoke screen here. It should buy us a little bit of time. Activate the wall. All right, Jake, opening the door now. All right, I'm firing the smoke bomb. All right, come on, Jake, we gotta go. Right, the door should shut behind us. I'll buy us a little bit of time. He brought more men than I thought. I was only expecting a few. Okay, well, Jake, what do we do now? We should be okay. I mean, we made a secret door and made it blast proof. My thought is they're not gonna be able to find us. Let me check the interior camera here. They're rummaging through the place. They're trying to figure out where we went. Nope, we're not there, buddy. All right, these guys don't look too smart. My thought is they're not gonna be able to find the door and therefore they're not even gonna be able to attempt to get back here. The problem is, unless we wanna stay in here for uh, the rest of our lives, we do need to deal with these guys. Jake, I don't want to stay. Maybe we just give them the plan. No, Logan, we don't give them the plan. I got a backup option. We're using the RC tank. All right, guys, we've got our Nerf RC tank set up outside and ready to take them out when they exit the fort. They'll have no idea what hit them. All right, I see the entrance to the fort. All right, looks like they're exiting the fort. Time to put this RC car to use. Ooh, and that is how you use a Nerf tank. I don't think those guys are going to be coming back anytime soon. Jake, let's just keep an eye on the security feed. They did a lot of damage to our first room. I think we should be safe in here, though. There goes my whole jungle. I spent hours on that. Yes, Logan, sometimes we need to make sacrifices in order to beat bad guys. We did lose the jungle, but it's okay. We're safe in here. See, don't you feel good knowing that we've got a super fortified fort? Now let's check the front camera and see what's going on outside. Jake, is that him? Yeah, he's back. Oh no, this isn't good. We'll be safe in here, right? Like, you can't get through that door. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he, he shouldn't be able to get through the door. He's got dynamite. He's got dynamite and he's bringing it to the entrance. Logan, we need to get back and fast. I don't know how well this blast shield's gonna hold up against something like that. Come on. All right, then sealed off. This isn't good. This isn't good at all, guys. He's gonna try and use dynamite to blow up the first room. I mean, it is secure, but he'll stop at nothing to get in here and get to those plans. We need to do something. Logan, this isn't good. If he gets in here, he can steal the plans, and that is it. He just blew up the front. He just blew up the front of the fort. Okay, we need to do something now. Okay, uh, I mean, we should be we should be safe in here, but Logan, I've got the EMP. I can use the oh, EMP. Jake, you can't use the EMP. It's gonna mess up our whole house. Logan, listen to me. If I can use the EMP to kill the power, I can use our night vision goggles to take him out. He won't even know where we're coming from. I have another secret I didn't tell you about. I built into the weapon room, on top of it, a secret turret that when Logan activates it will raise me up above the fort, giving me a vantage point to take out anyone attacking. If I can use the EMP, it should be enough to disorientate him. Maybe if we can get him to stop attacking, he'll call off the invasion altogether. All right, Logan. Be careful with this thing. Jake, I'm not touching Logan, it. Just, it's, it works just like anything else. You're just gonna press the power button. Looks right here. Logan, it's really easy. It's an EMP. I bought it off of Amazon. They got a lot of these things, okay? Just when I tell you, Press the button. Use your goggles. Okay, I'm gonna get into position. Once I'm in there, and I give you the signal, activate the EMP. <laughs> We're tough, but not that tough. All right, EMP now! Hey, big dude! Check out my Gatling gun. Jake, we did it! <laughs> we did it, man. We stopped him, and the base held up like it should have. Today, guys, we are doing something you've all been asking for. Logan, we are doing... Where, where, where are you going? Logan, Logan, you can't run in there. I will never find him, guys. I will legit never find him. You gotta check it out. You gotta come check all it right, out. Alright, let's go check it out. Oh, dude. This place is already looking pretty awesome. So guys, if you have not seen this box for yet, this is the box where we've been building it downstairs and it is crazy big already. We've done a couple videos in here. Uh, down there, we have a gymnasium. We also have an additional three rooms in this place and some secret kind of hiding places, which are pretty cool. And we're gonna be turning this into a billionaire box fort. This is gonna be the first billionaire's box fort in our brand new house, which is you know, special and pretty awesome. And you guys know us, when we do a billionaire box fort, we go big. I mean, I mean, we're gonna have a jumping castle, a movie theater, a basketball court, 
Uh, let, let's see what else we have. We have two separate rooms. We have our own rooms in this box fort. A kitchen and so much more. This is gonna be the biggest billionaire box fort we have ever done, guys. Jake, before we do anything, I think we gotta show you guys what we've been working on. Because we've been doing a lot around here. We've been planning to turn this into a billionaire's box fort for a while now. And we kind of started with, like, renovating a little bit. You know, taking out some of the old cardboard and fixing it up. And that kind of led to us actually adding a bunch of stuff in here. So, don't, don't worry. You guys haven't missed much. But... Let's bring you guys back up to speed on what's been done in this place. And keep in mind, there isn't lights in here yet, so it will get a lot brighter and a lot more homey. But let's check out this box fort. So guys, in the box fort right now, we have this room here. It's a little bit dark, but this is going to be uh, Logan's room. Logan, this is your room. So in here, we have my sleeping quarters, slippers. That's a billionaire box fort. Your room comes with your very own TV. My room's down there. I have the exact same setup, a uh, bed as well as the TV. You don't watch TV, maybe watch some Netflix while you're chilling in there. But let's keep going, guys because there's so much more oh and you might notice we added these this is kind of something we did in our last billionaire box fort uh they don't really do anything but i think they look nice they're like little they're, chandeliers they're, they're supposed to be chandeliers yeah i mean there's no lights in them but it really adds a little bit to the box fort it makes it look nice so over here guys we've got the la kitchen or the food area as i like to say as you guys know papa jake is the onboard chef i make all the meals in our box forts and this is my domain so i'll bring you guys in and check it out so welcome to the kitchen this box fort is so big and this billionaire box fort is so epic that i can stand up in the kitchen in fact you can stand up in a lot of rooms here and as you guys can see we've got all of our food lined up here for our 24 hour challenge uh Lo logan this is this is all unhealthy i said get healthy food i thought i was just on snack duty Look, d d wow, we can't live off of chocolate, Doritos, sour watermelon? Oh, okay, well, we're gonna have to do something about food. We're gonna have to figure it out. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to make us a meal in here because, uh, yeah, I, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I love Lucky Charms. It's my favorite cereal in the world. Um, but yeah, we've got all of our food in here. We've got all of our snacks, which is pretty awesome. And we can make dinner in here, which is cool. We're gonna bring a couple more things in here. Keep in mind, guys, this box where isn't done. We're just giving you an update what it looks like right now. And then we're gonna start building. Oh, one thing that's really cool is this box where it has a secret window, which allows you to give food into this room. And you're probably wondering, Papa Jake, what's that room in there? Well, let's go check it out and I'll show you guys what it is. All right, guys, so this room isn't complete with lighting yet. I still gotta do that and I still have to set up the main part, but this is our movie theater. Check it out, guys. We've got all of our, oh, light fell. We've got all of our pillows. We've got blankets down here. It's super comfy and cozy. And what I'm gonna be doing is making a DIY home movie theater setup. So instead of like what we normally do, normally we use like a big projector, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make your own movie theater with just some cardboard and some really easy items you can find around the house. And then we're gonna project it on that wall there, chill here, and if we want a snack, knock on there, and you can get something straight from the kitchen. How cool is that? Last but not least, guys, we gotta show you the gymnasium that we're gonna work on, and then we can start working on this thing and building our billionaire box fort. And then I, I wanna say survive for 24 hours, but we're gonna be chilling for 24 hours in this thing. Check out my cheetah print rug, dude. Look at this. I, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was cool, guys, to add to the middle here. We're really trying to put a lot of like little things in this box fort to make it like a billionaire mansion, but also make it more homey. We did miss my room, but it's pretty much the same as Logan's room. It's uh, got my TV, my blanket in there, and some other cool stuff. But let's go check out the gymnasium because this is where we're gonna be building the basketball court. Welcome to the gymnasium. How cool is this place? This is our own gym inside the billionaire's box for There's lots of room to, to run around and do activities. Logan, look at me. Look at me, Logan, I'm running. Whew. Okay, you can actually do a workout in this box where it's that big. So this is where we're gonna build our basketball court. We wanna be able to play a full game of basketball and we actually, the last time we did that in a box fort was when we did the world's biggest box fort. Uh, but this is still pretty big. This is big enough to set up two hoops and have a good game of basketball. We still gotta do some reinforcing here and some cleaning up as with the whole box fort, but this is kind of an update as to what it looks like right now. Oh, Jake, you are gonna go down when we play basketball. Oh, I don't think so, Logan. I've been practicing. You were going down when we play basketball. We're gonna have a full game in here. I mean, it's, it's a little small, but still it works for us. And we're gonna have some cool mini hoops to play with. But guys, this is what the box for looks like so far. And the video hasn't even really started yet. We haven't started building. How crazy is that? If you guys think it's epic so far, smack the like button down below because it's only gonna get bigger and better. And if you guys think this is an epic box for it, put a hashtag epic down below. All right, guys, so now what we need to do is we need to start building. Logan's gonna be working in here in the gym on the basketball court while I go to the movie theater and start working on that. I also have to get lighting throughout the entire box because as you guys probably noticed, it's a bit dark and I've start working on the kitchen, 
the steam room, and the jumping castle. So we still have a lot to do, guys. So let's get started and let's get building this thing. So while Jake is working on the movie theater, I'm gonna be fixing up the gym. Right now, it looks like it's falling apart. First thing I'm gonna do is fix up the ceiling and then I'm gonna make the basketball court. Alright guys, so while Logan's working on the gym and getting our basketball court set up, I'm going to be using this to build our movie theater. So this is like a DIY movie theater kit. It's made out of cardboard and only requires your smartphone. So basically we can make a projector with just a phone and a little bit of cardboard, which I thought was a really cool addition. Obviously we have our real projector, but for this billionaire box for it, I thought it'd be cool to try something that you guys can do at home. So I'm going to open up the kit and start building this thing as well as deck this place out with some lights and turn this into an awesome movie movie theater for us. Alright guys, so update for you, I actually went ahead and built the entire projector. Uh, it's here and I put it all together, but it doesn't work at, at all. I, I mean it kind of works, but nowhere near what we're used to in a billionaire's box for. I thought it'd be really cool because the picture on the box had like a massive wall completely filled with whatever's on your phone screen. This. It, well, it does that, but it's like very hard to see with no color and it's not really that bright at all. I've decided we are going to throw out this uh, $1 projector and replace it with the billionaire's box for a projector, which I'm going to grab now and put in the fort. But before I do that, I'm going to set up the lighting and then we'll test it out and see how cool it looks. All right, guys, so the roof is finally in force. So pretty much I'm going to be making two of these backboards with rims on each side of the court. And there we go, both basketball nets are completed. Now we're just gonna put them on each side and the basketball court is complete. Check it out, how sweet is this? I've got all the LEDs done in here. So of course we can change the colors, make it whatever we want while we're chilling watching our movie. I also have an LED light set up on the door. I think I might add some more to kind of add some mood lighting to this so that when we're watching a movie, maybe you know we wanna make it like red for Spider-Man or just like a nice like dim blue to kind of chill out and relax. I also went ahead and installed the projector here. So this is gonna shoot onto the wall here so we can watch our movies or video games whatever we want and there's a light back here which we can turn off so it gets completely dark in here and we can enjoy our movie so now that this is done I'm gonna go check up on what Logan's been up to and then we got to add some more lights to this box for it and we we'll almost have a billionaire box for it done we still have to work on the jumping castle as well as the steam room but those will come later and this place is already looking amazing so once we get some lighting in here it's gonna be awesome all right guys let's go check out what Logan's been up to Yo, this looks awesome, dude. This is crazy. The entire gym has been converted into a basketball court. Dude, this is sweet. We gotta, we gotta have a game of basketball. So I finished the movie theater, Logan. The movie theater is looking awesome and the kitchen is all done. There's still a little bit of lighting to do, but how would you feel about playing a little game of basketball right now? I'm down for some basketball. All right, guys, we're gonna play a standard game of basketball. First to three wins. You ready to do this? Oh, that, that doesn't count, Logan. That doesn't count, that just means I can start with the ball. Let's do some box for basketball. Oh, no! All right, all right, let's see how we're playing. Oh, did I do it? I think this wraps up this game of basketball. Let me know down below who you think won, Jake or Logan. Now that we're done, I think it's time to show off more of this billionaire's box sport. All right guys, check it out. So after a long game of basketball, I thought it'd be a lot of fun before we have our movie and eat dinner, we would go for a little steam. That's why this billionaire's box fort is equipped with its own steam room. We've done a hot tub before in the summer, but because it's cold outside, we can't really have a hot tub. We decided to have our indoor version of that, which is a steam room. So we're gonna head in there now, have a quick steam, kind of relax a little bit after the game of basketball, and then head into the movie theater room for a movie. 
Alright guys, let's head into the steam room, grab a steam, Logan come after me, some towels in there, we'll relax, then check out our movie! Yo guys, we're in the steam room! How cool is this? Logan, I can't see you! I'm right here, Jake! Logan, I can't, I can't see you dude, it's so steamy! Where are you, Logan? This is the billionaire's life, guys. Inside our billionaire box fort. So I think we're gonna chill out here, sit down for a little bit, enjoy the steam, and then we'll get back into the box fort and watch some movies. Alright guys, so we finished up with our steam and I got changed into some comfy clothes because now it is time to chill and hang out in the movie theater. So as you guys can see, the whole place is set up here. We've got the LED lighting all around here. We've got LED lights on the walls as well as our projector set up. So we're gonna pick a movie now and just kind of relax. I'm gonna be grabbing dinner in a little bit for our billionaire box. We're gonna have a billionaire's dinner, but we're gonna pick a movie and then I'm gonna go into the kitchen and grab some snacks for us while we chill out here. But all these pillows. It's so super comfy in here. So let's see. Look, what do you think we're gonna watch today? Uh, maybe a superhero movie. Oh, dude, that'd be sick. Last time we were watching Spider-Man. So yeah, I'd love to watch something like that. Let's see what we can find on Netflix and enjoy the show. And of course, guys, once the lights are off, we still have the LED backlighting. But if we want to change that, you know, we can make it like red or something like that. That looks pretty sweet too. Especially if we're watching a movie. You know, make it red, blue, whatever color we really want. But because we are watching something, I'm going to just turn it off completely. And now we've got the big screen. Oh, but wait, guys, I forgot. Before we start watching this movie, I know we have dinner coming, but we need some snacks. And of course, this billionaire box fort is equipped with its own kitchen that connects to the movie theaters. So, snack man. Oh, hey. <laughs> nice Doritos. Got some sour watermelon. What else we got, Logan? Just keep the Chocolate snacks buttons. coming. So probably not the healthiest snacks. We're gonna close that up there. Bye, snack man. And now we can watch our movie. Shh, shh, the movie's playing. All right guys, so we're about halfway through the movie now and I think it's time for dinner. So, Logan, why don't you go knock on the door and see what's been cooking up in the kitchen? Jake, what's for dinner? Oh, hey, buddy. Well, for dinner, I've got us uh, some pizza pockets. There you go. All right, guys, so we just finished up the movie. We had a bunch of fun watching that. We had dinner, had some snacks, just kind of chilled out in our awesome home movie theater inside the Billionaire's Box Sport. But I think it's time to hit the hay. It's pretty late. I am tired. It's been a long day. We played basketball. We watched a movie. We had dinner. We built, it's, it's been quite a long day, and tomorrow, it does not stop. Tomorrow, we're gonna go on the bouncy castle, we're also gonna have breakfast and do a bunch of other fun stuff, so I think it's time to uh, to get to our bedrooms, because because guys, this billionaire box where it's so big, we have separate bedrooms. All right, Logan, this is your room, you've got your TV, you've got your slippers. All right, well, I guess I'll see you in the morning, dude. I'm gonna head to my room, you can head in there. All right, Jake, good night. All I'll, right, I'll leave you guys with Jake. All right, night, night Logan. We've got my own TV. We've got my own little headrest here. Even got my own door so I can close that up there. Get my pillow all ready. Got a nice cozy sleeping bag. So I think I'm gonna get to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Yo, what's up guys? It's another day in a box for it. A lip box for it. I kind of slept in a few times. <laughs> Normally when we do these, we get up the first time we wake up, but I was just really comfortable. I think, uh, I think we need to do something active in the morning to wake us up. It's always good to do a little workout in the morning. Get the heart going, get the blood flowing. So I think we're gonna go upstairs and we are gonna do our jumping castle. Cause this billionaire box for comes with a jumping castle. Logan, you gotta get up. We're going on the jumping castle. Let's head upstairs and check it out. Now we're in the jumping castle. Check it out. We got a full on jumping castle in the billionaire's box board. How sweet is this? We've got our own jumping castle, lots of balls to have fun with. So we're gonna enjoy our morning in here and chill out for a little bit. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, I'm falling out of the jumping castle, dude. It's starting to fall on this side. You stop filming, just help me, bro. Yo, go, go, bye! Woo! 
Alright guys, so we're back outside and here is our massive fallout shelter. And now we're gonna be using this to build the billionaire's box for. It's a house, guys. We already have a massive house, but we're going even so bigger. Big. It's so big, but we're going bigger, guys. We gotta add a bathroom, we gotta add a movie theater, and a hot tub onto all of this, guys, because it's truly gonna be a billionaire's box for. Not to mention, we got all the new awesome stuff from our kit to make this even cooler. So the first thing we're gonna do, guys, is make our hot tub entrance. To do this, we gotta take off the vault door. Oh, dude, I love that vault door. We're definitely saving this, guys. Maybe someday we'll do a follow-up, Fallout 5 version of this. Here, we're gonna actually have a tunnel coming all the way out to the hot tub, so we can easily get inside and out of the hot tub. We'll also probably install, like, a towel rack or something, because we wanna dry off after a nice dip in the hot tub. First step to making the hot tub room, we need a drying rack. Cause we all know guys, if cardboard gets wet, that's a very bad thing. So we're gonna use this drying board as something that we can stand on, dry off on with a towel, and then enter the box for it. Dude, check that out. This is perfect, dude. Get on this, dry off, go back in the box for it after a nice dip in the hot tub. Now that that's in place, all we have to do is start building. So let's set up the time lapse and get this hot tub room built. As of right now, we have the living quarters. We also have like the eating area slash chilling area. Hot tub room is done. Now it's time to make the movie theater slash gaming room. This is gonna be one of the funnest parts of the actual billionaire's box fort. So we're gonna start working on it here, get it all ready. And then once we have all the exterior done, that's when we get to go inside and start decking this baby out. All right guys, so the sun is setting, but the movie theater is coming along great. We have most of it ready. All we have to do now is put on the roof. Once the movie theater's done, guys, all I have to work on is the bathroom, and that's it for exterior. We're going inside and decking out this box fort. And just in case you've never seen what the box fort looks like so far, we did rip down a bunch of the stuff that we had in here for the fallout shelter, because it didn't really make much sense, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like now, and you guys can see what we're working with. So in here, guys, we have our living quarters. This whole place is decked out for sleeping. We got our sleeping beds in here, and we got some beautiful lighting if we go through here we have a secondary hatch and obviously we have a door here that we can close if we need to um, but if we go down here into the main I guess common area this is really cool this is where we can eat as well as just kind of chill we've got a first aid kit on the wall we have a fan venting in fresh air so we have a full ventilation system uh, over there we have a radio and then at the front here because we do have this kind of walkway that you have to kind of walk up a little bit up here we have the lookout and now we had this closed for the follow video since this is the billionaires box for it we're probably gonna open this up so we can look out and check out the nice waterfront oh and did I mention guys that everything in here is all electrically wired to this main power module here so we can actually fully equip the entire box for it not only with a bunch of lights fan systems but also because this is the billionaire's box for it, we gotta equip it with a TV gaming system and much more for the first thing we're gonna be using from the Papa Jake box for a billion box is our door we're gonna take our sticker I got our Papa Jake certified door handle so we can easily get in and out of the box for it Dude, that is looking so Dude, sick. that is sick. Look at that. So now we're just gonna cut out the door. I should've done that first. Check that out, it's a metal door. It's not done yet. We still need a handle. Door handle is going on. Sticks nice. on there like a charm. Dude, check that out. Close it like this or open it. Yo, that's so much easier, bro. But let's put the next one right on the inside. That is one of the hardest things when you build a box for it, is shutting the door from the inside. So the last thing we have to do before we can go inside is get the bathroom done. This wouldn't be a billionaire's box for it without a proper bathroom. It's gonna be a little bit weird, but we're gonna go for the outhouse method with this one. I've already got the main placeholder here. Well, you get what that's for. I'm probably gonna put a policy between me and Logan. No one use it, but for the sake of this video, we still gotta build it. So now all I have to do is make housing around it as well as a very secure door. All right, here we go. So Log we were to use Logan's got the bucket just in case for proof of concept. It's not the best, it's not the most beautiful, but it works. You can actually go up in here. It's got a lot of room up in here. There is no light and you do have a space to sit. It's not the most luxurious bathroom, but hey, it's a bathroom in a box for it. And of course, you can close the door. 
Oh, I also forgot to mention, guys, that our box fort comes with a rain catcher. This actually works to catch rain. You can put a cup in there, and we have a funnel system. You guys would have seen that in our Fallout box fort, but I thought I'd mention it as well. Guys, so now that we have everything pretty much ready inside the box fort, I'm going to start making our additions. Now, before I bring the TV, the Nintendo Switch, I'm going to do all of the electrical lighting inside the brand new movie theater slash gaming room. All the lighting is done and now officially the entire box fort is fully lit. Now it's time to start decking out this box fort with all of the awesome gear that comes inside the Papa Jake box fort building kit. So we got a lot of fun stuff to put inside this box fort. Probably one of the scariest things surviving in this box fort for 24 hours are raccoons. Because we're outside and outside there's only a few things that could hurt us. I mean, well there are coyotes, but, but mainly raccoons. We got our water gun and not only does this work to deteriorate boxes, it'll also scare raccoons. Away. Our box board kit comes with a double-sided tape so we can mount the water gun on the wall for easy access. There we go guys, the water gun is mounted on the wall for easy access during the night. And the cool thing too guys is if you use a few of these, you can even mount like a Nerf gun or really anything you want on the side of the walls. It's great too because it's so sticky, you can actually pull it off and stick it back on a few times before it loses its stickiness. So these are a super big asset for when you're making box forts. Oh, looks like someone's at the door. Oh, looks like it's Logan with the food. Dude, that's awesome. Billionaire Box Fort has food delivered. <laughs> All right, guys, and before we have dinner, I am gonna put up one more thing from our kit. We're gonna put the rest up after dinner, but before we get into that, I did want to use the pamphlet. Not only is the pamphlet awesome for giving instructions and everything like that, but it also doubles as an asset to building a box fort. You can unfold it like this, and bam. You got a full cork board in your box. You've got a bunch of helpful box building tips, different secrets from our box fort building videos, and just some general information that you need to know when building a box fort. And you've also got some extra room to make notes for yourself. So I'm gonna pin this up in here so we have it on the wall. This is definitely something you have to include in the home base of your box fort. For dinner, I'm gonna read one helpful tip from the board. Let's see here. Tip number seven, always build your floor first. This is gonna be the base of everything that holds the box together. Make sure that you're confident with the floor first before building the walls and roof. That is important, guys. I'm not gonna go through all the tips, but there is a lot of helpful stuff here that you need to know when building box forts. But before we continue building this box fort, it's time for dinner. Got our dinner delivered to us, because it is still the billionaire's box fort. Enjoy. Got the breakfast bagel for dinner. Got a nice bagel with some cheese, as well as some turkey. All right, guys, so we just finished dinner. We're back into the movie theater slash gaming room. I'm gonna start setting up the gaming setup now. Logan is currently editing tomorrow's video. We're gonna set this up. I got my Nintendo Switch here. I also got a flat screen TV. And I rewired a bunch of power, so I'm gonna work on that and then get this baby running. It's official, check this out. We got the Nintendo Switch attached to the flat screen TV. Even Logan has a power outlet over there so we can work on yesterday's video, which is awesome. Look at this, guys. We got Mario Kart, we got 123 Switch, we got Zelda, Minecraft, and because we're only in my backyard, we even have Wi-Fi, which is sick. This is by far my favorite room in the fort. So I think we're gonna go play a little bit of Mario Kart and then, dude, are you down to go in the hot tub? I and mean, we have a billionaire box That's fort, true. dude. We, we got a hot tub. tub. Yeah. You wanna go in after? It's already 12.30, but yeah. <laughs> All right, let's what do What else are we gonna do? All right, guys, so we just finished gaming. We had a bunch of fun playing Mario Kart in here. Logan's been editing, so I think it's time we both take a break and we're gonna go enjoy the hot tub. Sleeping quarters look good, but we definitely need to get this set up before bed. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, hot tub time, bro. Oh, it looks nice, dude. Let's get in here. Towels are here. Drying station is on point. Straight from the box fort into the hot tub. Billionaire box fort. Done right. You go from the box fort to this? All right, guys, so we finished up in the hot tub. Now it's time to get back in the box for a dry off change and get ready for bed. The tricky thing is we have to dry off inside the drying chamber because if we step on the box with wet bathing suits, we'll completely destroy the box. This heating lamp is absolutely amazing. I've changed. I've got my fresh new shirt on. I'm feeling good. I'm ready for bed. But guys, while we were in the hot tub, me and Logan were talking. We had a crazy idea. Obviously, we've been having these massive light goals to keep this box for build and to keep adding on to it. But this thing will have to come down. But we thought, what if we did one last light goal? What if we did one last light goal of 150? 
120,000 likes, and if we get it, we will turn this into a box fort spaceship. We'll use all of the wiring, all the interior, all the electrical, all the different rooms, all the different door sets, everything, including the computers, TV screen, Nintendo Switch, and we will turn it in to the world's biggest spaceship. So put a hashtag, save the box, and smack that like button, and let's go for 120,000 likes. All right, guys, we're heading to bed. I almost forgot. Papa Jake's box for building kit comes with some other accessories that we'll need. The comfiest blanket in the world. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is gonna be my blanket for tonight. So let's bring that in here. And just to be on the safe side, let's bring the Papa Jake flashlight. Before we go to bed, we still have a bunch of other stickers. We're still gonna do some interior design tomorrow with the other stickers we have. It can get cold at night. So I think it's time to put up the fire. Yo, that is toasty, man. Already, I can feel the flames, bro. That sticker's fire, bro. Literally the sticker's fire, guys. Let's get the comfy blanket out. Oh, dude. What? I didn't even realize this. It comes with extra writing space. <gasps> All right, here we go, guys. Oh, the comfiest blanket in the world. Since Jake's already ready for bed, I'm gonna turn off all the lights. Light number two. All right, and the last light. This is a pretty sweet day, but I think we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys. See you in the morning. Yo, what the? <laughs> Look at the room was on, bro. It woke me up and started eating my started eating my blanket. Well, that's one way to wake up. What is going on guys? It's not lit! We just woke up. Roomba's on in the billionaire box for it. Oh my god. It was a good night. It wasn't bad at all. This thing is so big and with the fans and ventilation systems, there was no issue at all. Logan's in the kitchen. He's gonna be working on the circuit breaker, turning back on all the lights. I thought I'd use our flashlight and uh, really quickly check inside the gaming room and make sure no raccoons came in here last night. Let's take a look around the corner. Looks like everything's fine. TV is still here. And there we go. The lights are back on in this box Whoa. for it, guys. So now we're just waiting for our breakfast. And in the meantime, I thought we'd do some more decorations. I put this here over the door, just in case you don't know who built the box for it. And we still got some awesome stickers to check out. So let's find a place to put these. So I think we're going to put the camo over Logan's bed. Now, normally you could use this on the outside of your box for it, like a military box. But in this case, we're going to kind of use it as like wall art. Like I said, guys, it's whatever you want. Dude, that is looking awesome. That is looking great, man. This is some sick wall art. Right. I mean, yeah, we could use this on the outside, but because this isn't a military box for it, it's the billionaire's box for it, we're gonna pretend that this is a billionaire painting. It is called the Burj de la Camo. It's worth four million dollars. This thing is solid steel, and we still have some handles left from the box for building kit, so we're gonna put handles on it so we can open up the window and close it. One really awesome tip that we found out is if you are sticking a door or a window, put the sticker on first and then cut it. It's a lot easier. If you are using a box cutter, make sure you have an adult help you out because they can be very dangerous. Oh that is so God. awesome, man. And look, it's so secure, dude. That's solid metal. You turn an old door into a new door, and it works amazingly. Awesome. I think it's time for breakfast. Uh, you might be wondering, Papa Jake, why didn't you use it? This is a demo kit for us, and because of that, it's it's just it's just it's like just paper. for show. It'll be exactly this size and look exactly like this, but it'll actually be stronger than the duct tape that we normally use in our videos. Here you go, Jake. Thank you, buddy. Inside the nice gaming room, chilling out, relaxing. This was like living in a house for 24 hours. We got a gaming setup. Yeah. We got air conditioning. What more can you ask for? Literally, and Wi-Fi. Marshmallow, why are you so fluffy? Why'd you get so fluffy? Someone's at the door. Come on. We gotta answer the door. Ah, how's it going? Chip Chip is in here. I was in the neighborhood and uh, I happened to see your boy's new video. Excuse me, but who are you? Name's Chip Chipperson. Most savage businessman this side of town's ever seen. You see, I fancy money. I'm in the business of making money. And while I've been a little down on my luck recently, I had the idea, the perfect idea, to create the world's first Chip Chipperson cruise ship. It'll be glorious, super big, and make tons of money. We'll charge hundreds of dollars per ticket. But see, there's one problem. I couldn't quite get down how we'd build it. Cruise ships cost a lot of money, and that's where you boys come in. I'm thinking we turn your two-story box fort into the Chip Chipperson cruise ship. That way we save money and you boys get a handsome cut 
I'm thinking a hundred tape rolls each. Cruise ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 could do that. We we could definitely do that, right, Marshmallow? We can make a cruise ship? Absolutely not. We are not building a cruise ship. There's no safety regulations. It's not safe for the public. Safety? What? Does this guy not want to make money? We're talking about making money here, guys. All right, Chip Chipperson is into making money. Now you throw a little floaty in that thing. Maybe has some life jackets, and there you go. You got a cruise ship. What do you say? Okay, okay, okay whoa, whoa, whoa. what if we survive 24 hours in it though, okay? We can prove then that it is truly safe to live in. Great, see, there you go. You got your own safety regulations. Personally, I don't care, but I hope to come and see the cruise ship when it's done. I'll see you boys later. Logan? Bye. Uh, okay, hey yo, what's going on everyone? It's Papa Jake and we are back. As you guys can see, we are currently outside. We're sitting next to the pool and behind me, is the two-story floating box for it, which is still standing. Sorta. It did rain a little bit. We built this thing strong enough that it did withstand the night, and now it is time to convert it into a real cruise ship. Now, it may not look luxurious right now. It's kind of empty. It's just a bunch of cardboard, but we know two things that a cruise ship needs to do. One, it needs to float. Two, I mean, that's the most important. It needs to float. Other than that, it pretty much can do anything. And it has to be safe. It's got to be, okay. But safety A little bit protocols. of safety. Yes, we'll have some safety protocols. I also want to expand on it and make it even bigger. I'm thinking we get another floaty and push it out this way. So it's like the biggest cruise ship to ever set sail. In fact, it will be the biggest fort we have ever sailed slash floated in water. Right now, guys, we need to build this cruise ship for two reasons. One, for fun. And two, it might start raining again. So let's get our cardboard and let's start making the biggest cruise ship that you ever saw sail. Okay guys, so update for you. We've been working on the cruise ship barely under two minutes and it's already starting to pour. Why? It just, can't, it just doesn't stop raining guys. This is going from a luxury experience to now we're back to survival again. It's cold. Now it's cold and raining. Okay guys, since it's raining and we do not want a repeat of the last 24 hour challenge out here, this is really Let's bad. Get out of this room. We decided to put a tarp on top of the roof. Hopefully it's gonna keep us nice and dry. Hopefully this tarp saves us. Look cozy in here. And we still gotta add an entire other part to the ship. So we got a lot of work to do. So like I said, we are gonna be expanding onto this fort and actually making it even bigger, which is why we had to get an entire new floaty for this fort. First things first, I gotta inflate this thing and then we can start building. Fire in the hole. Oh, there we go. We got our brand new floaty. Now to lay out some cardboard and build an epic room on top of this. Okay guys, so update for you. Everything is going perfectly as planned. <laughs> Guys, we messed up. Jake, the whole fort is on its side. So while we were trying to lift this in uh, by ourselves, it was extremely heavy with all the wood and the entire fort just, uh, it just collapsed. So yeah, now the- Look the, at this thing. The roof's on the side. It's kind of cool, look. Look inside, it's like Inception or something. We messed up Logan because we didn't call Boxman to help us. I said we call him up. Woo! Jake, you speak Boxman? A little bit, I'm working on it. Woo! Oh, there he is! Boxman, you're back! Hey, buddy! He likes that, I think. Ooh. Okay, yeah, just do that, but over here. Okay, guys, update for you. Uh, the ship is now straight up. It's like a sinking Titanic, and we're gonna try and get it in the pool. Hey, guys, we're gonna just... Oh, whoa! Oh, oh. All right, guys, we are officially inside. So I'm gonna start working on the interior here, making it super luxurious while Logan starts working on the additional sleeping quarters, which was crushed when the box <laughs> flipped over. Look at this. All right, guys, so Jake has been inside the ship decking it out and I've built ourselves a little attachment that we're gonna put in the water, add to our ship, and this will be our sleeping quarters. So now we have our two box forts in the water. I'm, uh, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do now. Gotta dock them like the International Space Station. All right, there we go. So now we got this open and this attaches inside the main cruise ship area. So now what we gotta do is attach this and then I need to tape them together. All right guys, so check it out. I'm currently working on the inside of the cruise ship here. I still have a ton of stuff to do. I haven't even gone to the lighting yet and it's already starting to get dark out. And of course up here on the second story, I've got a few LEDs and a few down here. But we just installed the third part to this cruise ship. And honestly, guys, it's one of the biggest builds we've done, let alone on water. I mean, right now, like you gotta remember, I'm standing up, I'm chilling, but I'm on top of a pool floating. And then down here, we added the sleeping quarters. So what you would do is you would open this door here, the super secure hatch, and then you have a ramp leading into 
these sleeping quarters. Obviously, these are separated because we couldn't build them all on land. But you come over here, it's kind of like a train car. Oh, I'm going to get inside. Okay. All right, not too bad. Obviously not as big as the cruise ship, but this is pretty good as sleeping quarters. Okay guys, it is officially time. We have officially completed the world's biggest floating box for cruise ship. I wonder if Chipper McChipperson will like it. Oh dude, he's gonna have to love it. And we're gonna be the first people to actually get to go on board and have the ultimate billionaire cruise ship experience. We're gonna go inside, see all the cool stuff you can do on board. We've kind of kept a lot of the interior secret because we wanted to show you guys once we're actually in there. But this is two stories, three floaties, massive. By far the biggest build we've ever done on water. And we should go even bigger this summer. Smack that like button and leave a comment down below with other video ideas. Hello and welcome to the Chip Whoa. Chipperson Magnificent Cruise Ship. I take you to our new guests on this marvelous, luxurious cruise ship. Well, I have prepared both of you an amazing voyage. We will be sailing the seven seas around countless oceans, and you will both be getting the most luxurious room that this cruise ship has to offer. You will get to attend all of our games and fun activities, plus be treated to a dinner by our marvelous top-notch chef. Why don't you come aboard? Take your key card, and I'll show you around. Gentlemen, welcome to the cruise ship. This is the most advanced box fort technology known to man. We have used every piece of physical box fort engineering put into this ship. It is Whoa. three flotation devices long, two stories tall, and can sail the seven seas for a lifespan of a hundred plus years. This is the future. I do have to let you know a few things. One, dinner is at seven, paired by our very talented and exquisitely professional chef, Chef Boyayin. Now, over here are your flotation devices. In the event that this fort does sink, which is impossible, you would simply take one of these, put it on, and pull the pin. Now, remember, only do that in the event of an emergency. Now, enjoy your stay on the world's classiest ship. 7 p.m.? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll be here for dinner. That, that sounds great. It's 6.15 right now, so that, I guess that's in like 45 minutes. Yeah, okay. Put that down. Let's want to see what it is. All right, well guys, it looks like we have this cruise ship to ourselves, so we're gonna go explore and of course be spending 24 hours in here. So making sure that this cruise ship is absolutely safe is extremely important, which is why I'll be testing this myself. Jake, no, 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 that's not a good idea. Ah! It's safe and good to go. He said only an emergency, but now there definitely might be an emergency. All right guys, so I think it's time to show off the cruise ship and give you guys a little tour. <sighs> As to what we've got in store. So as you can see, we've got the massive interior here, which is the main area. This is where you come to kind of relax, you know, maybe talk like, Ooh, hello, Jake. sir, nice it's to meet really you. bumpy. Yeah, well, we weren't able to exactly put any stabilizers on the ship. So if we do hit a big wave, you know, there's a bit of like, you know, that kind of in. seasickness. We installed these uh, handrails though, so you can just grab onto a handrail and check this out, guys. Look at the beautiful view. We've got a nice patio out here if you want to eat. And you've got a nice view of the ocean slash the pool if you're just chilling here. <laughs> so weird to think we are floating Dude, on a box If you're fort. just sitting here, you actually don't realize it. Like Logan's chilling there. I'm looking down here. I'm like, oh, cool. This is a fort. Then, boom, we're on top of water. All right, well, let's go check out the sleeping quarters because that is the third floaty that we added onto the ship. If you guys remember from our last video, we tried to make this and that was a success on its own. But then we expanded with the room. Let's go check it out. Of course, we got our key card. Scan it in. And there we go, should open like this. And there is the sleeping quarters. Guys, I think I'm getting a bit seasick. All right guys, welcome to the sleeping quarters. Jake, put, put the ukulele away. Well, all of our luxurious rooms on this billionaire cruise ship come with your own ukulele, which oh, you can- Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 Jake, why is this so wobbly? It's a little bit more wobbly than the rest of the ship. We put less time into it. We didn't add any windows to this because we're doing a 24 hour challenge and it's actually really cold outside. So I didn't want windows in here to get really cold. So we left the windows open and we've got our nice comfy blanket. We got pillows. We also have a wash basin in case we need to like wash our hands or use the water. Obviously, we gotta save space, so it comes with these little pucks, which actually convert into full-on towelettes. And then there you go, you've got yourself a nice little towel, you know, you can wash your hands. Jake, Jake, speaking of washing hands, dinner's coming up. That's true, dinner is almost ready, guys. We also got some hand warmers in here in case it gets cold at night. And just a bunch of awesome little snacks, first aid kit. But we gotta get going, it's about dinner time, and we wanna check out the rest of the cruise ship, so let's head back into the main area here and close this up. Back into the main section of the cruise ship. I don't know, there's apparently a chef. Do we just, hello? 
Chef? Uh, hello! I am a chef of boy I And I am going to be your chef of food tonight. How may I help you? Uh, I'm just looking for dinner. You know, like basic, simple, nice dinner. Ah, uh, Poofy, you have come to the right place. A chef of boy is making the best dinner you've ever tasted. I will start the cooking. I'm back into the main area here. Jake, Jake. There's a guy and he's gonna cook us dinner. Oh, that must be Chef Boye. Ah, another customer. Tonight we are going to be having a fresh cut fish straight from the ocean. And I will be preparing it for both of you. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, I was gonna have a pizza, but but freshly caught fish works for me. Do you have anything other than fish? Chef Boye, I only have a fresh caught fish. The most fresh fish you'll ever taste. Okay, yeah, I guess we're just having fish. What, what about, uh, do you have any, like, like, like 7-Up? I like 7-Up. For the drink, I have a fish milkshake. Fish milkshake, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna pass on that one. Now, some of you at home might be wondering how does Chef Bonadie make the most beautiful fish dinners? Well, that is because I use a premium fishing rod to catch my very own fish straight from the back of the cruise ship. The ocean is filled with fish. It is like nature's grocery store of fish. Ah, there we are, the freshest fish in the ocean. Ah, this will make a nice dinner for both of my boys. All right, dinner is served. Some fresh fish caught from the ocean and cooked up to perfection. Thank you. Enjoy, courtesy of Chef Barbie. This is fresh fish from the ocean? Did he even say what kind of fish it is? I don't know. Enjoying some nice fresh caught fish? inside a box for a cruise ship. So we just enjoyed our luxurious dinner inside the cruise. Now we're coming up to the second story after dinner. The sun is going down. It's getting sort of dark out there. So I thought we'd come up here, play some games, maybe beat Logan at Beyblade. First thing I wanted to try, Logan, was mini putting. I have never mini putted on the second story of a box fort that's floating in a pool. All right, guys, well, we've got our mini putt ball here. We've got our mini putting stick and we've got our course set up. So. Looks like I'll be going first, Logan. Let's see who's gonna be the winner of mini putt on the floating box board. Oh, Jake, you're going down. All right, it's first one to get in the hole there. Oh, come on! Oh, oh. oh it almost went in. All right, try number two. Uh, wait, 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 but I get to do my second shot. It is mini putt. Oh, that went in, that went in. That's a birdie, buddy. Yeah, it took you three tries. Watch, okay. hole in one. All right, guys, Logan is going up for his shot on hole the second in story. one. Yo, it's actually getting so dark out here. It's a good thing we have all these lights in here. All right, here we go. Oh, what? Hole in one. All right, all right. you might have won a mini putt, but that doesn't mean you're going to win at Beyblades. You know I'm the Beyblade master. If you didn't know, me and Logan have a long-standing Beyblade championship going on right now that I have won every single Beyblade match ever that we've ever done. Wait, no, 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 no. Like, I have won this. like the last three games we played. Yo, I don't know if any of you guys know what Beyblade this is. Let me know in the comments, but Logan has won every single game with this. So this is not allowed to this time, okay? This is going over here. We're having a fair- I'm still gonna beat you. If you like us playing Beyblades, let us know in the comments down below. Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, the battles! Oh, oh you guys go crazy! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, you like exploded! Yes, us. I did, Jake. Oh no! Take that. Well, you know it's best. Two out of three. Three, two, one. Let it rip! Oh, the battles on! Oh, you my guys go crazy! Buddy. No! No! Why? <laughs> I'm going to pass. I bet you are, buddy. Dude, that's not fair. <laughs> my guy's still going. Well, I think it's about time to head back to my sleeping quarters and go to bed. Of course, this is a 24 hour challenge, so we gotta survive the night. I mean, when I say survive, I'm gonna enjoy the night because we are in a luxurious box fort. Uh, Logan, you haven't even checked out your sleeping quarters yet. Wait, Jake, wh what do you mean? I thought that was my room. No, lo lo Logan, this is my room. I paid for it. You didn't pay the $10,000 fee for the premium room? I had to give the guy $10,000 to get this room. What do you think, you get this room for free? Your room's under here. What? All right, well, uh, I guess I'll see you in the morning, buddy. Have a fun time in your room. What? What? Okay, let's check out this room. What? Why is my room flashing different colors? 
a pillow and a blanket? I could literally fall out of the fort. All right, guys, welcome to my room, the luxurious room on this luxurious box fort. As you guys already saw, we got some awesome stuff in here. But now that I'm in here, I'm gonna get cozy for the night. I've got this super thick and warm blanket. Obviously, it's nice and warm on the cruise ship itself, but I wanna get all cozy in here. Maybe we'll check out some of the entertainment that we got. Ooh, looks like it came with Sour Patch Kids. That's awesome, I love Sour Patch Kids. I love my room. I love my room. I am freezing right now. It's uh, it's really cold. And Jake keeps singing with his ukulele and it actually sounds so bad. Jake. I love my room. Jake, you have to stop. Hey, quiet down next door. All right guys, currently enjoying my eucalyptus infused face mask. Got it on here. Game complimentary in the luxury room. Uh, super good for the skin. It's gonna make my face all nice and clear. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep. It's like someone said, hey, let's have a disco party in Logan's room all night. But honestly, I gotta say guys, this is one of my favorite box stores we've ever built. But uh, I think I'm gonna uh, get to bed now, get some rest, enjoy my night here as the, uh, as the waves rock me to sleep. I'm just gonna have to try and sleep. See you guys in the morning. I always love doing floating box sports. Hopefully nothing happens at night, but I'll update you guys in the morning when we wake up. All right, night guys. Morning guys. Last night got way too cold in my room. So I came into the like main area because it was just freezing. Of course, Jake gets his nice cozy room. Ah, good morning. What? <laughs> and welcome to the breakfast menu. Do you have a celeb in here tonight? Shiva has prepared you a marvelous breakfast on this luxurious cruise ship. Okay. Fish burrito. Fish burrito. Cut fresh this morning, full of fish and seaweed. No, 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 no. no, no. Enjoy my masterpiece. Good to see you, a Shiva Goodbye. Okay. Well, at least I have some breakfast. <sighs> Another lit day in the box for yeah. uh, the best sleep in here. Honestly, it's super comfy, super warm. I love this place. Uh, to get up, head into the main area, see what Logan's doing. Uh, see what's going on in the cruise ship this morning. Hi, hey, Logan. What's going on? What's up, Jake? How was your sleep? It was terrible. Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, you should have gotten one of these premium cabins. It was super comfy and cozy in here. Where'd you get the food? Chef Boyer D. Oh, that smells like fish. Hey, hey, chef, can I get some breakfast? Ah, I am so sorry, but the kitchen is closed. You have to be here at 7 a.m. on the dots. You see, Chef Boyer D does not fish unless it is fishing time. You have to wait for the lunch menu. Goodbye. What? Come on! I paid for the premium economy and I can't even get breakfast? Logan got breakfast? You weren't here on time, I guess. Alright guys, well, it is a beautiful morning in our two-story floating box fort. And when I say beautiful, I mean it's raining. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead up to the second story here. As you guys can see, it is currently raining, but we are still floating. None of our ships sank during the night, which is always a good thing. Logan's chilling down there. How awesome would it be to do this video, but on a lake? Oh yeah, Logan, that would be sweet. I don't know, I don't know if that'd even be possible, guys, but let me know in the comments if you think that'd be awesome, and let us know by liking the video. And of course, guys, if you did enjoy this and you want us to continue this series, destroy that like button but this has been papa jake and burrito logan and we will see you guys next time for another awesome video